Good afternoon, good evening, good morning, wherever you're watching from the world. We are live and exclusive, live and pre-recorded for this huge Premier League fixture. Uh, let's turn that music off, shall we? So that we don't get copyright strikes. My sons, how are you all doing? Are we ready for this? The Premier League final. The latest Premier League final. <sighs> Mates, Arsenal Southampton. And... The teams are out. We're going to have a listen to Mikel Arteta. Your pre-match press conference interview. Uh, let me know where you're watching from. Are you excited? Are you bricking it? It is time. Oh, I've not put the thing right, have I? Thanks for showing me. What an absolute fraud. West Ham. Let's give that another go, shall we? There we go. We're flapping. We're flapping. Uh, why are we flapping, bro? Why are we flapping? Update your scoreboard, my son. Let's have a look at the lineups quickly. Because we do have... I believe... The teams... Wow, big day for Fabio Vieira, who gets the start. That is possibly his first Premier League start ever, is it? Rob Holding starts, but apart from that, Zinchenko returning means that it is quite a full strength side for Arsenal. Oh, Phew. Gabriel Jesus up top, Bukayo Saka on the right hand side, Martinelli on the left, Partey, Odegaard, no Granite Xhaka, Fabio Vieira in for Xhaka. Interesting. Big game. Frozen fire. Okay, let me know your thoughts, lads. What are we thinking? Uh, Theo Walcott starts. He starts with Armstrong up top. Alcaraz, Ward Prowse, Lavia. Four four two. They've got players back. Have they still got players out? They had quite a few players out. Chadams is out. Livermento, Maitland Niles is obviously on loan, so can't play. Well, I say obviously, but he can't play because of the agreement. Sally Sue is still injured. Kaletakar, Armstrong, Aribo. Diallo, Lianco, McCarthy, Onuachu, Orsic, and Suleiman on the bench. There's Jorginho, Kivio, Reese Nelson, Eddie Nketiah, Emil Smith Rowe, Tierney, Trossard, Turner, and Walters. My young son. Let's have a look. Uh, massive game for Vieira, indeed.
Matt G, how you doing? Uh, Stuart, what's going on, son? Oh, you're good. Are you ready for this? Time for meltdowns. You see what I mean? They're here to see us. Mate, not today. To not today. Today. Whew, a lot at stake. But we're at home. You've got to be expecting three points here. I mean, don't expect, but expect. Need. Necessities. Got to be done, really. Um, and we should have enough against a side who are... You know, where are they? They are not bottom, but they're bottom. They are actually... Fuck, they're bottom. Um, top against bottom. And they are playing for their lives. Let's not forget that. Um, North Coast of Ireland in the building. 100% pre-recorded. Was that because of the West Ham thing? Just finished watching last night's late unfortunately about five minutes ago. Impeccable timing. Impeccable timing. Impeccable timing. <laughs> Love Emiliano. Hope you're well. No praying to Satan today. Shaitan. It's cancelled. He's cancelled. See Bart. That's on. How did you guess the lineup? <laughs> oh, pre recorded Dons, yeah. Pre recorded Dons. Um as Syntex says, uh, Eid Mubarak to all. Happy Eid to everybody that's celebrating. When will EMF be a thing, mate? It's been a thing. <laughs> it's called paper talk, right? We're, we're going to have to put that at night, though. So, yeah, we're just rethinking that. We're rethinking that. Mate, um, I have to be honest with you. I'm actually a little bit worried about today. Um, I just hope that they were, they're awake. I mean, it's 8 o'clock. It's Friday night. The world is watching. As per usual, Arsenal Football Club have been given that spot. I mean, and you... <laughs> Your lead is in the Prem. You're going to be on every week, mate. So the world watching shouldn't be affecting you too much. But I just, you know, Arsenal historically don't do too well with things like early kickoffs or Friday night games or games against the bottom of the league when they need to win. We're a different team, though. And maybe that draw against Liverpool, you know, the kick in the teeth that it felt like is an indicator of how much they expected themselves now, you know? That definitely isn't just the fans, that would have been them as well. I heard an interview with Ben White saying that they've had all week to prepare, they're ready, and it wasn't the end of the world. It was, it was a point, a good point. Telepathic communications in the building. Ayush, how are you doing? Uh, MC, Arsenal, MCB Arsenal. Much love to your mother, bro, new member. Appreciate you. Appreciate you very, very much. Christian Santos. Hello, Father. I hope you read my DM. Oh. Uh, on, wh on which platform, my son? Wait, Christian Santos. Which platform, bro? Let me just... Yeah, if you can let me know which platform. Uh, Saliba, what's the deal with Saliba? Should we have a little listen to, uh, or have a little look at the old Twitter sphere? Oh, Thierry Henry and Patrick Vieira in the building today for history. Let's just switch over here. Oh, big soul. Yeah, we're rolling back the ears. I want to see your beret collection. You want to see my beret collection? <laughs> what makes you think I've got a beret collection, bro? 
hats barely fit on my head with the amount of hair that I've got. So. What is this, bro? Okay. Shout out to you. The top quality streams are back in style and in numbers. You guys need to chill out. Alexander, I hope you joined us. Amon Football. Thanks, Matthew, for the shout. Love to your mother. Arsenal lose, ghost mode, United lose, here we go. What? Why do people do this like I, what? Like I don't make videos when Arsenal lose. <laughs> like what? <laughs> Crazy. I can tell you must be new around here, whoever you are. Glazers out. Right. Riz Teta, what's this? What do you think? Well, when, when it's coming from Sir Alex, then it has to be right with the experience that he has. Do you think so? And if you have to do that? If you have to do that, then you are prepared for that. Uh, there is not a beautif more beautiful way to do it, probably. <laughs> what do you think? Well, um... Nicola Teta's response to Gary Neville saying, Sir Alex Ferguson would snap your hand off to win the title against a rival in a one-off match. Oh, I see, right, okay. It's about Riz, why are they talking about Riz? What's going on with Saliba then, bro? We're basically saying he's not coming back. Gary never win an Arsenal shirt. What is going on? My feeling is Man City will overpower them, but it would be amazing if Arsenal could get there. He doesn't want us to win, bro. Sad. It's sad. I don't understand. I do not understand. People, look, look, Mark is posting pictures of, of Highbury, right? Reminiscing the golden years, the glory days. Arsenal, the Arsenal. Proper, prop, proper, proper Arsenal, yeah? But this is why we moved, isn't it? This is why we moved. This is what we were promised. Promised that we would be competing, challenging for major honours. Here we are. Only absolute Don's Aguan here, boy. <laughs> Who's that, bro? Michael Flyer, only absolute Don Zaguan here, boy. <laughs> Appreciate you, Michael. Love to your mother. Uh, kids' new word, Riz. Yeah, what's it called again? Riz. Oh, it's short for charisma. Is that what they're saying? Or it's not really, but it sort of is. I don't know. Have I made that up? Proper ass. Proper. Proper ass. The proper ass. Arteta is love. Arteta is life. Arteta is so close to doing the unthinkable, isn't he? It's It's been incredible, but I tell you what, like I was saying, this is why we moved. You know, the, all those years that we've been sort of clamouring for history at the Emirates, because that's what the Emirates has been missing, really, history. It's really, we've got no real sort of success there. I mean, we have got, you know, I guess a few FA Cups and whatnot, but honestly... It's not quite this season, is it? This season has been something else. This season can cement actual history, legacy, 
at the Emirates and for the first time, you know, it wasn't too long ago, was it, that Arsenal fans were all up in arms, cronky out, was everywhere. They really have sort of shut us up. And, well, they really can shut us up, I should say, <laughs> by winning the Premier League title. Because I think a few people will start to become, you know, noisy again if things do go left. But Rizzle, Rizzle, get your Rizzle out. I can't even t bring myself to type the word. I mean, I'm not going to say that in public. Riz. Oh, he's got Riz, isn't he? What? Who Are people really saying that? Oh, mate, you must have been on your knees for that pit. Look, I packed, uh, what's his name? Laurent Blanc, mate. Packed Laurent Blanc and I thought it was Vieira. I actually sat there and I thought, oh my God, icon. And then the flag came up, France. Look, watch this. Right now, and now I'm like, oh my God, oh, mate, it's such a letdown, wow. <laughs> but he is holding a Premier League trophy. And I was thinking, do you know what? I'm attracting a few dons who are holding Premier League trophies. It must be something in the air. Father, I was one of your lucky sons that got your follow on Twitter from last night's oh. episode. I sent you a DM, oh. Space Schooner. <laughs> right, what is his Twitter handle then, bro? Because if I followed you, then... Oh, Space Schooner, yes. Okay, right, gotcha, mate. Gotcha, 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 gotcha. Gotcha, right? Thank you for watching my uh, Yes, bro. Okay. Okay. Right. Thanks, mate. Appreciate you. Appreciate you. Appreciate you. Gotcha. 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 Uh, Christian Santos, my son. You are. <laughs> I come the game. Uh, is the Bezos complicated because your boy doesn't like signing up for anything these days? Uh, no, it's not. No, it's actually not. In fact, I tell thee, I tell thee, <laughs> when this game is done, I've got to eat because I haven't had lunch yet. We're just, we're grinding. We're in grinding mode, right? And uh, intermittent fasting. You know, eat for some people, but fasting goes on for others. Um, but when I've eaten, we will be over on the old Jeff Bezos because um, I've unlocked, you know, the potential of an Ashley Cole, and I'm thinking about bringing him in, okay? We've got enough fodder. Fodder? Lie detector? No, no, no lies were told. Absolutely no lies were told. DJ, no, DJ is a massive fraud. I don't even want to get started on your clerk, bro. Why am I seeing notifications of you playing fucking Zombie Wars? I'm getting Zombie Wars notifications. What are these zombie games you're playing? Hmm? You live in the heart of Midlothian, yeah? The heart of South London, yeah? You live literally above Amorley's. Yet... Even though you are surrounded by zombies on a daily basis, baby, please. Yeah. Even though you live in the heart of fucking Zombieville itself, you're out here playing fucking zombie wars on PCs. It's crazy. It's crazy. Um, <laughs> Remy Kell, I want Arsenal to win it this year for Claude. Oh, mate, I'm here for you. I'm actually here with you and for you. Um... Yeah, good guy, Claude. Good guy. Was always so nice to me. Um, and, you know, just a, a, a really passionate Arsenal fan. His life was literally about Arsenal, that's it. So, we saw eye to eye there. Claude would be very proud. It would be great. Yeah, it would be great. For Claude, for the Queen, you know, for the Queen. 
Uh, I didn't know the Queen either. Uh, I don't know what type of person she was, to be honest. But uh, she was an Arsenal fan, apparently. In fact, I think there's a bit of history uh, with the Arsenal and the Royals. Do we want that, though? Do we want that? I don't know. But we'll do it for but we'll do it for everyone. We'll do it for Arsenal fans. Let's just do it for Arsenal fans in general. Um what have we got here? Scotland in the Hoose. Heart of Midlothian gang in the Hoose. <laughs> My sons. Which accent do you think? Which sort of which accent do you think from the UK is the most difficult to understand? Especially for people who aren't from that area. <laughs> I think if you've ever heard someone with a thick Newcastle accent, a thick Geordie accent, who uses like Geordie, I don't know, lingo. <laughs> the first time I heard it, I would just... I was. I just said to him, like, "Look, bro, I'm not trying to be rude, but I genuinely didn't understand a word you just said. Like, I caught a couple of words, but <laughs> you're gonna have to say all that again. Uh, same with a couple of Scottish accents, if I'm honest. Has to be Scouse, <laughs> uh, Scottish, Welsh. Oh, but that's another language, isn't it? Wait, <laughs> drunken Glasgow." Yeah, um, I mean, <laughs> I just need a translator sometimes. I speak to dad often since he has a, I don't speak to dad often since he has a super hard to understand Yorkshire accent jokes. <laughs> Wait, what, you don't speak to your dad because he has a super hard to understand, did you not know your dad or something? <laughs> when they repeat it and you just laugh. <laughs> uh, yeah. The first Geordie guy that I knew, he had the most thick Geordie accent I've ever heard as well. And, you know, even after he was repeating stuff, all I kept thinking was, wow, you're just, just the way you speak is <laughs> nuts. Um, I had to ask a guy with a heavy Scottish accent to repeat himself three times. Then just said, I don't know, mate. <laughs> <laughs> Listening to Carragher for some people who aren't from England must be difficult. It must be. But he does speak quite fast. And Cork. Oh, okay. I've got family from Cork. That's hilarious. <laughs> Smith Rowe should have been given a chance ahead of Fabio today, says B Dizzle. Uh, he's been back from injury for a while. Perfect game to start him after Xhaka missing. Do you know what, though? I've got a uh, feeling that Fabio Vieira was brought in for this very role, like specifically this role, to fill in for Xhaka. A lot of people see him as that guy. Oh, I've been exposed. I know you've got a beret collection. Fucking hell. Um... A lot of people think he was brought in f to be on the right-hand side, and I'm sure he can do that. But, you know, in Portugal, anyway, he was he was often played in, a, in that sort of advanced role that Xhaka is playing in so often this season. So I'm not surprised to see him there. You, you've got to remember as well, he's got the massive advantage of being left-footed. I know people, you know, they might be cottoning on to it now, but... They yes, I should have been given a chance ahead of Fabio today. He's been back from injury for a while. Perfect game to start him after Jack are missing. I hear you. I hear you. I do hear you. It's a big Forward game. Forward shining, my fraud father. <laughs> forehead shining. Mate, my forehead is shining. What the I mean, we're, we're okay. We're, we're okay. We're okay. Skin-wise, we're okay. We're doing all right. We're hanging in there, to be honest, to be fair. <laughs> Keep drinking water. Hydrate, lads. Hydrate at all times. I'm going to go and get some water in a second before the big game starts. We've got about 20 minutes or so. Who dares wins, remember? Belfast, non Ireland. Who dares wins? Um...
Belfast, Northern Ireland. Northern Ireland. Northern. Northern. I used to, um, I was lucky enough to live next door to an actor once upon a time who gave me a few lessons in <laughs> how to do an Irish accent. Um, he is a seriously good actor, theatre. You know, his CV is unbelievable. He's done a few Hollywood movies, but he is mainly a theatre actor. Um, thespian. Yeah, I was super lucky as well, because he, he gave me this book, right, which sort of helps you to do the Irish accent. But I'm well, I'm well out of practice. I'm well out of practice. Uh, he said, cap. No, not cap, bro. No, not cap. I mean, yeah, I'll tell you. Uh, his name's Samuel West. Sam West. But... Yeah, this is a while. It's a long time ago, man. It's a long time ago. At the time, I was doing some sort of drama myself, so I was I was ready to do a role where I had to have an Irish accent. But I was playing a, I was playing a ghost. <laughs> but anyway, um, Danny D, get out and meet people. You might meet someone famous. Yeah, there you go. Just get outside, bro. Make it happen. You know. From, I was talk I was talking about this the other night, right? From sitting in a room and obsessing about Arsenal in New York, missing it so much, and feeling like I was so far away from what I love. I started the YouTube channel, and within two years, I was on a pitch hugging Thierry Henry. So, <laughs> get outside. Or fucking follow, you know, a passion or something. Throw yourself into the mix and amazing things will happen and you will meet amazing people. Um, Sam West is 56. Must be, Hugh must be ancient. He's obviously older than me, bro. I was a kid. <laughs> For fuck's sake. So say, stay inside and make a YouTube channel. Mate, if you go on my videos, um, especially early ones... It may well have started inside, but the majority of them were outside. You know, I essentially had a format which was Arsenal Fan TV before Arsenal Fan TV. It was a whole mix of interviews in a bar called The Blind Pig or just me in New York talking about Arsenal. Um, and before too long, I was working for MLS, getting flown around the country to different states to film different games. So it definitely wasn't inside. Um, the fact that I've started to do watch-alongs is just because I can't get tickets and or it's just fucking expensive. You know, I'd love a season ticket, but the list is long. So we go when we can and we're here. Um... Sam West is in Slow Horse on Apple, got killed in second episode. He always gets killed early, bro. He was in, um, is it Van Helsing? No, is Van Helsing a guitarist or is that a film? No, that's not. <laughs> wait, wait. Van, yeah, Van Helsing is a film. He's in that film and he gets killed within the first minute, <laughs> which I was so gutted for because I was like, wow, fuck. <laughs> He's made it big time, Hollywood movies, but, you know, he didn't last long. Uh, oh yeah, Van Halen. That's it. <laughs> ah, okay, fraud watch for me. Fraud watch. Uh, the guy on a bicycle. No, I think he's in that film. He's a doctor or something, or some type of scientist or whatever. But uh, for the people podcast, to mad also LNF. Uh, do you? Do you mean too mad? You know, the importance of that extra O is everything in this sentence. I'm not quite sure what you mean, Gary. <laughs> um, what if your passion is in something that nobody around you cares about, bro? Okay, Drizzy, I'm a classic example of that because not many people in America, especially in New York City, in the heart of fucking, <laughs> well, not Queens because we didn't start in, in the heart of fucking Spanish Harlem, they definitely don't give a shit about football, bro. Definitely don't care about Arsenal. So the internet is 
the key to that. That's how we've moved forward. That's how anyone can throw themselves into their passion or find a community that, you know, can relate. They are out there. I thought that pick of Hugh in the flat cap was fake. How do you know it isn't? That is a fake pick. As if that's real. Whose hair comes out the side of that? How would I get that hat on my head? <laughs> Be serious. Be serious. Come on, bro. Be serious. Fake news. Um, getting flown around before Robbie got his first Rolls Royce. <laughs> Mate. <laughs> Oh, I'm blessed to have worked at um, Kick TV and have been involved in so much of the sort of early days of the digital space and the sort of growth of the football thing, you know. Peaky Blinders. <laughs> Wait, what? Um, on a real though, why don't you ever make an appearance on AFTV? I mean, I'll be honest, right? At the very beginning, I did. Um, at the very beginning, I did. The main reason I stopped, right? And I love Robbie, don't get me wrong. But I had my own channel and I had my own sort of idea of what I wanted to do, you know, whether it, whether it is sort of, I've never really used the channel like I should have done. That's the thing. I used my channel for like seven years as a CV to get me work elsewhere. I wanted to show people that I can host, I can present, I can talk about football and I'm extremely knowledgeable to the point where it has led to me getting work outside. I've had my own show on Talk Sport. I've you know, I've been offered a job by Sky Sports. I've, I've hopefully, I feel anyway, like I've opened doors for other people along the way. But essentially, what I wanted to do was be involved in football somehow, some way, because I couldn't be a player. So, you know, I've got a history in sports journalism since I was 15. Um, I worked at Channel 4 News. I've worked at ITM World News. I've worked... Uh, Channel 4 News, um, and yeah, I basically created a job out of nothing, essentially, um, because this all started from just talking about football and playing FIFA, basically, and essentially I decided, because, I, you know, I was keyed in with EA for a minute, and they were encouraging me to carry on making FIFA content, but essentially I just wanted to be involved in real football. It wasn't really hitting the spot for me like real football does. So, um, coming back from New York, I've tried to change it a little bit so that I'm on the channel more often and not just using it as a CV because I, I feel like, you know, there is a potential here. But... Essentially, I'm still just sharing what I love. I was just trying to be involved in football with the people that have sort of come along with me. Um, you are the greatest football wordsmith of our time. That is... <laughs> I'll take that. I'll take that. I'll take that to my deathbed. Put that on the fucking tombstone, lads! <laughs> <clears throat> um, I've been thinking about this recently as well, right? I've been on YouTube for like 10 years. So I'm going to start making videos where I talk to myself in the future and see where where I am and what I've done, do you know? Um, I think it's important to keep setting goals. I do have goals. And... Yeah, I want to stress to anyone that sort of, you know, I get some people saying, oh, I'm inspired by inspirational father and all this, right? That's cool. That is cool. Um, 
but there is more to do. And I want to stress to you, you know, I'm not satisfied. Do you know what I mean? I always thought you could go harder on your own channel. You've got fan and professional experience. <sighs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. We're definitely going to go harder. Definitely. 100%. You know, I'm still learning all the time, really, because like I said, I wasn't really... If you go on my channel, for example, and you search uh, 2014 Brazil World Cup, there is a video on there that to me is one of my best videos. It's got about 2,000 2, views. There are videos that I've done that I just put there. I didn't really think about, oh, let's get views or let's go viral or let's, you know, make money or... I didn't even have ads on this channel until three years ago. Like not a single ad was on this channel. So I have, <laughs> I've definitely fucked myself. <laughs> Hugh, I always thought you could really go harder on right. your own channel. You've got fan and professional experience. Some legendary collabs to have too. But it's, it's only going to improve for sure. It's only going to improve. I'm working on the podcast. It's a separate project. It's something that, again, I'm really excited about and passionate about. I think when we start bringing guests on there, it's going to elevate it to another level. And from that, I will do um, other stuff on this channel. Um, Next season, I hope, you know, I said, I've said, if we get to the Champions League, I'll go around Europe. We'll start doing more content abroad. I first found you on a kickoff and thought you were just a footballing Don who spoke the cold hard facts and I've followed you ever since father. 100, heart. <laughs> Ashley Young, appreciate you, brother. The kickoff. Yeah, I do miss that, you know, I do miss it. They were really good times, really good times. It's obviously, you know, I don't know what's happened with all them because it doesn't look like the same people are involved anymore. I actually don't know anything that's happened, but um, it was a really good concept, man. Really good show. Strong characters. Is that with Sean Garnier? Sean. Sean Garnier. Yeah, icon, legend, who, and he's a, I'll call him a friend, um, we go back a long way, and, you know, I can't, I'm not, I, I don't need to say too much, but Sayan knows, Sayan has, <laughs> Sayan, <laughs> he knows, yeah, I'm not, I, uh, I've got a lot of love for him, I, he's so talented, man. He's so talented. It's unbelievable. He's just so good, man. So good. To see him on video is one thing, but, you know, with most people, like, I don't want to say names, but with some people, you sit there for six hours filming while they try and do that one shot, that money shot. Sayan is literally the guy, if you give him the ball, he can just do things like that. Just, <laughs> it's just a crazy baller. He was, he was, um, I think he played in League Down, in League Down. He could have been more, but he, he was injured. He got a bad injury. Um, what's this? Q, I have ideas for you once the new payment system comes in. I big... Okay, the number one waffler. I see you. I'm here for you, baby. Let's do it. <laughs> Uh, okay, right, I see, okay, right. Everyone quit. I mean, greetings to your family. Uh, Tony, how are we doing, son? <laughs> I know it's Tony because he's always got son's picture. I wonder what Tony actually looks like. <laughs> Um, what do you think about Mason Mount to the arse? It's interesting, isn't it? There's a lot of rumours going around that Mason Mount to Arsenal could be on. Up the Arsenal, human. Hope you're well less than three. Appreciate you, bro. Less than three's in the chat. Less than three's in the chat for the people that spend 
their 79p, right? Getting questions in less than three, bro. My videos don't actually make any money recently, but <laughs> so that is appreciated. <laughs> Uh, introducing the new segment, the pre-match waffle. This is what we do, baby. We gather rounds. Listen, this is how we calm the nerves. Get your coffees in, yeah? If you've got, I don't know, in the war, they used to say, <laughs> lucky we're there. What the fuck are you talking about in the war? If you got them, smoke them, yeah? <laughs> Get your vapes out, kids. I know you've all fucking got flavoured vapes and all this stinky fucking sweet shit. Get your primes out, yeah? Get your bottles of primes out. Get your bottles of primes out, mate. You are you're turning into an actual fucking boomer. It's crazy. Uh, I don't vape. I'm halal. Um, go easy on us. Break vape. What's hashtag break vape, bro? What is that? Koig. Koig's in the chat, bros. Koig's in the chat. It's almost time, lads. It is almost time. <sighs> the dons, mate. Is it getting sweaty? Are we getting sweaty? Next pod, 4th of May. What? Fourth of May, where are you? Okay, Koig, City Lifestyle. What City Lifestyle? That better be London City Wife. Thousand dollar bottles of water. How you doing, pal? You're right. No? How you doing, pal? You're right. Koig. <laughs> Koig. Watching from Germany. Pre my show tonight. Good luck, bro. Good luck. Keep smashing it. I see uh I see good videos coming out, bro. That one was funny. That, that one for the grind. Other, that Love my brother. Mate, they're all tuning in to see the downfall, aren't they? Mate, just keep praying on our downfall and we'll keep shining from up here. Eight minutes till kickoff, lads. Arsenal football. What's this? I was trying to set up a PayPal subscription for one penny. Um... I don't know what the least is that you can <laughs> super chat. What is the minimum? Consider collab with some of the old kickoff lot. Yeah, you know, I do it. I do whatever with anyone, man. I would actually do videos with Brian because, you know, I do love him. I just, it just. First time super chat. Right, I guess. Love to your mothers and love to the fraud father. Now leave a damn like on the video and Koig. He's actually someone that I think a sit down and chat would be good with. Um, Hugh Fraud Wagwan. Football therapy. Yanni boy in the building. How you doing, my son? You come over to see a real team play football. Huh? <laughs> True ball is in the building. Don't worry. We got you. We got you. Uh, yeah, you know, I do videos with any of them, but I do videos with, I want to do videos with people who are, you know, not, I don't mean this disrespectfully, but people who are sort of actually involved in football as well. People who've got special stories to tell, you know, not necessarily just football. I think my interests are much more broad than this channel allows me really to show. So... That is something that I want to do going forward. Uh, first time super chat. Love to your mothers and love to the forefather. Appreciate you, Rick. You're an absolute hero. Um, we also had we also had someone else. Hold on, where's that guy gone? The grind, bro. Who was that? Football therapy going through the muddiest waters right now. Will was it? No, that was the next guy. A. I was trying to set up a PayPal subscription for one penny. I don't think you can do that, bro, but unconfirmed reports. I'm actually not sure. Tuning in from Moscow. Mate, beautiful city. What a beautiful city. 
Looking at your thumbnails, you come across as an overly selfish individual. Oh, wow. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> um, do you know what? I want to say something, right? The word selfish is actually been fucking reclaimed and people are very confused about the benefits of being selfish selflessness is great it is great but mate selfish selfishness is important self is overly important in fact one really is the magic number and if you do not look after yourself nobody really can for you you have to breathe you have to Look after your body. You have to look after your mind. Selfishness at we times, We need more at least, content, Papa. Toig. Is necessary. Like, for example, I want to see selfishness from my striker. I do want to see that. We need more content. I'm trying. We're out here. And we are rolling over because the boys in red. La familia. La squale. Your Premier League champions elect are taken to the field at the Emirates. That is a beautiful banner with Arsenal fans' names all over it. Mikel Arteta on this massive banner, which just says, Vamos. Vamos. Yeah. Alexander Zinchenko. My actual back, brother. Let's fog and go. Back in the squad. Uh, Max, Mexi, I'm going to hit you up with more content tonight, even. And if you can't catch it on the old Jeff Bezos, we will edit it and put it on YouTube on a regular basis. Happy Eid Mubarak, about to watch Halal PSG midfield with no Emery or Vati. Like the vid frauds, GL for <laughs> Arsenal game. <laughs> Ian A, let's fogging go, yeah? Let's fogging go, my actual brother from another. Ian, as, Ian, you may well be one of the longest subscribers on this channel. Do you know that, bro? I've decided as well, right? What we're going to do? We're going to have a we're going to have a table. Who are the truest frauds of La Familia? We'll have a league table. There's got to be a way of me finding out because there is on Twitch. I can tell who's commented the most. I can tell who's liked the most. No, you can't tell that. That's a lie. What's the other one you can tell? Who's given bits and all things like that? What are bits? I actually don't even understand. We'll have to learn all this stuff anyway. Uh, we move to JB Parisien. Happy Eid Mubarak. That's like saying happy Eid happy, isn't it? But I hate you. Uh, about to watch Halal PSG midfield with no Emery or Verratti. Ooh, PSG are playing at the same time as Arsenal, are they? Last they are super chat is Angela. Chelsea in the mud and I'm going to have to start and only Jans soon. Make more videos, Hugh, you slacker. <laughs> Ah. That one was crazy. That one was crazy. I hope Keep my man new player's name out your fraud list. <laughs> uh. The huddle is happening. And hey, you long time no see ever watch NHL playoffs. Do you know what? I never have, bro. I do actually have a friend who plays, well, he, he played for uh, England's uh, ice hockey team, though. Ten Hag is crumbling under pressure from Fraud Watch. But do you know what? Have you seen his latest press conference? I'm actually ashamed to say this. I've never been to see him play, bro. I'm ashamed to say that. I'm not really a true friend, bro. I'm really not. That's bad, isn't it? But it's violent, you know. It's it's it, sometimes it's not about the sport. Apparently, anyway. Apparently, allegedly. Uh, lost super chat. Chelsea in the mud. I'm just only. <laughs> I'm on it, brother. I'm on it. I am actually on it. I'm on it. Ten Hag is crumbling under pressure from fraud watch. Have you seen his latest? Oh no, we haven't. We'll have to tune into that at half time, mate. Please send it over. Send me a link if you can, because we are about to get underway here, live and pre-recorded. It is Arsenal against Southampton. It is the next, the latest in a whole list of Premier League finals that this club are going to have to overcome to get their grubby little hands on that Premier League trophy. 
Southampton are going to kick us off from right to left in their blue away strips. It's sort of like an old school Coventry kit, this one. Um, and Arsenal in their home red and white going left to right are on the ball immediately. 20 seconds gone already. If Lord Tita chokes today, then I am expecting an apology to Don Emery. Wait, who said that? Good evening. Oh, no way! Get it if not go seven. I'd rather not watch it. Oh, my God! Anything for the playoffs. I'm a borough fan. Oh, no. Like wow. What on atmosphere. earth has just happened? Alcarez. Ramsdale. With the ball in the six yard box, has passed it straight to Alcaraz, who has literally curled it into the back of the net. Arsenal are 1 0 down after 36 seconds of this game. Oh my god, bro. Oh god, I feel weak. He's tipped it. Oh, my God. He's... Oh, my God. Um, Arsenal nil. Southampton won. I kid you not. Uh, we are less than a minute in. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Bro. Sick. Wow. I tagged you in it on Twitter. Check when you can. Southampton have started very lively. Arsenal Football Club conceding free kicks through Thomas Partey. Conceding goals. I can't believe he's done that. Ramsdale's passed it. To, he's passed it to him. He's literally passed it to him. Oh, my God. I'm not even arse fan. I swear this is scripted. F.A. Oh. going for Hollywood. Shall we say a prayer to Satan for us, no? Oh, my God. I'm in shock. I'm actually in shock at the... <sighs> We're second to everything right now. We've got ourselves a free kick, but second to everything. Southampton look hungry. Of course they're fucking hungry. They're bottom of the league, mate. Survival. I can't believe Saka on the right hand side. Uh, we're starting a goal down. We're starting a goal down. We're starting a goal down. <laughs> we're starting a goal down. I can't believe it. What the fuck are we playing at, man? If we lose this, it's done. If we lose this, wake up! Vieira, Vieira! Middle it, middle it, middle it! Mi mate, mate, middle it! 50 yard run from Fabio Vieira. Was that Martinelli? In Colorado, hoping for a draw. It's Martinelli. Oh my God. He's overrun it. I can't believe this. Clapping hands, cheeks. Clapping hands, cheeks. They've scored too early. They've scored too early. There's loads of time. There's loads of time for Arsenal to get back into this. Um, here is Odegaard. Tries to play in Gabriel Jesus is picked up by Fabio Vieira on the left-hand side. One touch from Martinelli into Zinchenko. Takes it down that left-hand byline. Partey. Oh, when the Saint come marching in. Ha, 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 yes. Saka. 
Oh, mate, my WhatsApp's going nuts right now, bro. My WhatsApp is going crazy. I've had 15 messages in the last four minutes. Stop that. Stop it. Stop it. Turn it off. Fabio Vieira tries to cross it. Blocked. Arsenal win themselves a corner. Sixth minute of this game. Arsenal won. Nil down to Southampton. I can't believe it. I actually can't believe it. 30 fucking five seconds. You couldn't last 35 seconds. You are not even a one minute man. Fucking hell. We've actually got a lot of work to do then here. As Rob Holden, Gabriel and Thomas Partey, Ben White all up for the corner. It's taken by Martin Odegaard. Clipped in towards all of them and cleared. Only as far as Odegaard again, who will just play that in on the ground to Thomas Partey. 1-2. He has a shot from close range. Feels like he was dragged down to the ground, but has shot wide. Arsenal skipper. Nice little one-two with Partey. He is forced down to the ground there. Good physical challenge. It's a 50-50. Half chance. <sighs> Mate. I said don't overlook the Saints game. We've all been a one-minute man at some point. <sighs> <laughs> Gabriel Jesus is chasing this into the corner. He's going to keep it in and he's going to. Don't pick that up. Give it up, boy, you fraud. Get the. Yeah, Bednarak trying to fraud his way out of a corner. That was a blatant corner. Gabriel Jesus giving it to Martinelli, I believe, for this one. Odegaard has come short as an option. I know, mate. I know. Tell me about it. I think I actually might have got rid of an Arsenal player today. I'm not sure. Did I bring Bryn White? Oh, no. Martinelli. Martinelli. Into the danger zone. Parried away by the keeper. Zinchenko with the shot. Sliced high and over the bar. I can't believe it. We've, we've, we've conceded to bottom of the league, Southampton. I fucking knew this. You know what, before, what did we say before this fucking game started? Arsenal top of the league against bottom of the league. Friday night lights. Let's go, baby. Let's fucking go, baby. Please, God. Because this is not the test. This is not the test, bro. You have to realise that this is not the test. Every game is the test. This is the Prem. What the fuck are we talking about? I've gone about? three bloody R's players in FPL. What is this? I might have a meltdown today. I might have a meltdown. I might have a meltdown. I might not be able to cope with this. This fucking guy. Theo Walcott is on the pitch and they're Come beating on, us. Shivaya, hair ram help us. Come on, lads. Please fucking hell, mate. Eight minutes. Loads of time. 82 minutes left. 82 minutes left. Get the espresso. I need to get espresso. But if I leave, they score. You don't understand what my record is like of leaving the room and goals going in. I am talking about, I've missed four in one game. Just going to the loo and getting a cup of coffee. <laughs> good evening, good evening. No, not good evening, no. Good evening, good evening. Crossed in by Southampton into the danger zone. Cleared by Fabio Vieira. Uh, Martinelli will give chase. Will he get there? No, he won't. I'm going to need a coffee. I'm going to need a drink. This is not good. What are we doing here, lads? We are... <sighs> Arsenal making small teams look like Bayern Munich since 2004. When conceding first, uh, we have played eight, won five and drawn three this season. We've lost none. That's a good record. That's a good record to there to be broken though, aren't they really? That's a good record though. <sighs> Fucking Alcaraz, first minute. Ramsdale playing a 4.8. Oh my God. He's passing it out. He's passing it out to opposition players. Hey, are, mate. Hey, are. If you want this, have a free hit. It's like a free hit in cricket. Oh, my good God. With the Prem title at stake. With the Prem title at stake. With the Prem title at stake. David De Gea was on Fraud Watch last night, mate. You're getting lobbed from the fucking halfway line and you haven't saved a fucking penalty for about three years. Oh, my good God. Oh, my good God. 
Oh my good God. Come on, lads. Come on, lads. Come on, lads. Ten minutes in, we're one ninth of this fucking game gone. <laughs> oh, mate. Eight more goes left. Yeah? Eight more goes. Eight more goes. Mate, Ramsdale, I don't want to look up and see you with the ball. I actually don't. I actually don't want to look up and you've got the ball at your feet. Why are we passing it back to Ramsdale? We're giving him confidence. Okay, we're giving him confidence. I like it. I like it. We're giving him confidence. Give it back to him then. There we go. That's it. Give it back to him. Have another touch, mate. There you go. See the guys in red? That's the ones you're aiming for, yeah? People that are wearing red and white shirts. See the ones in blue? Is he colorblind? Can colorblind people not see blue? That would be fucking outrageous if he was a secret colorblind Don. Oh, my good God. We are actually very up against, we're really up against it here. Bukayo Saka showing a lot of strength and is actually going to get himself a free kick there. That too much from Perro. Perro. Um, ben White will take this free kick and go back to Rob Holding, who is, of course, in deputising for arguably team of the season. I mean, I don't think it's actually arguable. Team of the season, William Saliba. A lot of people saying that he may well be out for the remainder of the season. Is that going to prove too much of a miss? Southampton winning is the ball Kim back. Is Kim K in the stand again? Oh my God, is Kim K in the stand again? Yeah, Walcott is actually playing football. Um, fast and loose today, this season is done. <sighs> He's such a calming presence at the back. He's massively missed. Theo Walcott has started well. He's playing quite well, bro. Um, couple of decent touches, but Arsenal are back on the ball. And, you know, we are pegging them back. All of their players in their own half. 4-4-2 four, four, is a bank of four to get round. Without the ball, at least. Here we are on the left-hand side with Martinelli taking on Carl Walker-Peters and beating him. Dinks one into the middle. It is poked away. But strong run from Gabriel Martinelli there. Gabriel Jesus on the ball now. In towards Fabio Vieira. It's dinked across the face of the box to Ben White, who takes a shot, which is blocked. Took it on the volley. I think it's actually come off Bukaya Saka, that one. Uh, it was going on target from the looks of things. Good connection from Ben White cutting across the ball with his right foot in a sort of Zidane, Zizou-esque fashion. That would have been a goal for the ages. That's a fucking corner, is it? What? Isn't that a corner? Hugh, I'm tired, mate. I'm getting tired as well. I can't take it. I'm going to need a coffee here. It's really fucking getting to me. If we are fucking... No need for copium, copious hopium. It's all good. Mate, no. No, 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 no. Everyone relax. Have faith, okay? Have faith that this team are capable of scoring two goals at home. Two goals minimum needed today. And it was always going to be two. Oh, we're giving the ball away in the middle of the park. Odegaard has given it away. It's, it's Southampton on the break. It's a through ball into Theo Walcott! And Theo Walcott has returned to the Emirates! to sink Arsenal fans' hopes and dreams. And we are crumbling before the fucking finale has even happened. It's 2-0 to Southampton as Theo Walcott passes it into the back of the net, past Aaron Ramsdale, and we are fully sinking in the mud in front of our very eyes. Mad. Crazy. We're done out here. We're actually fucking... Are we done out here? I'm getting a coffee. I've had enough.
ukáže. Am I a donut? Am I a donut? Am I a donut for believing in you? Am I a fucking donut? Please, God, don't do it like this. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, mate. Oh, mate. Hugh, somebody is getting paid off. Legit actually fraudulence. Like where is Scotland Yard, Interpol? Oh my god, I'm losing my nut. I'm losing my nut. I'm, losing, I'm gonna lose my nut. I would say the excited say hash crunk in hash stand the Rams Theo man. Walcott! Walcott. Walcott! Theo fucking Walcott! No way! No way, Theo! Theo fucking Walcott! Huh? Walcott said, huh? Oh, Walcott said, what? I'm an Arsenal fucking legend. And you, you, you want to make Saka and Martinelli legends. I've got 100 fucking Premier League goals for you cunts. Yeah? Oh my God, I can't believe it. Theo Walcott back at the Emirates. Fucking slick back hair. Rolling the slick back hair. Dax in fucking tact. Yeah? Sliding it past Aaron Ramsdale! Ramsdale on Fraud Watch. You're on Fraud Watch. It's fucking confirmed you're on Fraud Watch. That's it. You're on Fraud Watch. Unbelievable. No way. No way. No way is this happening like this, bro. No way. This is... Am I... Is this happening? Is this actually happening? Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Southampton are off the bottom of the table. <laughs> I'm stunned and feel sick. We can't pass. Adi, God. Adi. Zinchenko, Zinchenko, inside the box, top of the box, top of the box, inside the box, shoots. Oh, no one wants to tell me. Oh, what's that? Is that a handball? Handball! Fans consistently mock Emery and him, so it's hard. No? What's he screaming for? Why is he screaming? What is he screaming about? Jorginho worse than Vieira? What about? Oh, it's a corner. It's a corner! It's not a corner at all, bro. That's not even a corner. <sighs> Fucking hell, I don't believe this, bro. Mate, we need the huddle, don't we? Get in a, everyone get in a huddle. What are we doing? Oh, we, oh, mate. I can't have this, bro! I can't have this. I can't have this. I can't have this! I can't have this. No way. No way. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. We're not even making it to the fucking Premier League final. What? The Prems, they've not got the memo. They've not got the fucking memo. The memo, right, says that the Premier League final is on Wednesday. Yeah? Wednesday, 8 o'clock. Not fucking Friday against bottom of the league, Southampton. Only Arsenal. Hugh keeps oh, saying my club. It was yesterday. What was I saying no before? Watch. What was I saying? What were we, we, we were reminiscing, weren't we? Not this. Not this. Oh, look at this state of this. Um. Well, good. Remember me, Emirates. Mate, is, is this a joke? Is this actually a joke? Is this a joke? Is this a piss take? This has got to be some kind of... Please. Go on, sucker! Come on, son! Come on, son. Come on, please. Come on. Come on, son. Yes! Bukaya Saka into fucking Martinelli. 2 1. We're back in the game. Saka, fucking world class. You are the most elite right winger in world football right now, my son. Let's get down to fucking business. We've got shit to do. Let's go. Let's fucking go. What a goal. Yeah? What a fucking goal. Please be on side. Please. Please! He's onside. Sit down, you fucking VAR frauds. Look at that. Look at this pace. Oh, it's world class, mate. That is unbelievable from Saka. The ball in from Odegaard sends him down the line. Saka takes on his man with the touch to go round him to the byline, onto his right foot, smashes it across the face of goal, and it is volleyed home first time by Gabriel Martinelli. Beautiful football. Seno, I say!
Come on, lads. 2-1. What? No. He's onside, bro. He's onside. No, no, no. Don't try that, mate. Don't try that. Don't try that, mate. Walcott in the fucking mud, yeah? Muddiest mud. Two goals needed still. We're back to two goals needed. So we're in exactly the same place we were after 35 seconds, right? Let's go. That's one. I need two more. Two more. He's not offside, bro. It's a here we go. We've got the here we go, bro. It's 2-1. We're back in the game. Game on. Game on. If you think you can keep a fucking clean sheet against us, stand out, USA! Let's go. Come on. Gabriel, mate, fucking hell. What are we like? We know how to make this difficult, don't we? Is Martinelli in my fucking fantasy Premier League team at least? Is he? Unconfirmed reports. We don't know. We don't know. We don't know. Oh, you're a massive fraud. Oh, my God. I don't believe it. What have I done? What have I done? I've had a nightmare. We're not even discussing that. I don't care anymore. We're out. Why is Odegaard my captain? Why? Oh, my God. Odegaard, you better score a fucking hat trick now, bro. Come on, bro. I need you. I can't believe it. <laughs> What? Bro, you're losing. Relax. Arsenal will be giving the fans... Hey, we're back in the game. Mate, we're back in this game! We're Present this for the game. banter. Come on, lads. Come on, lads. That's it. Everybody stay calm. Stay calm. That's what we do. We stay calm under pressure. Look at this. Odegaard. Partey out wide to Saka. Saka is going to use the overlap from Ben White. Or is he? No, he's not. He's going to look for... Arsenal will be giving the fans Odegaard heart plays attacks it into here ben White. He crosses. The cross is going to be cleared by... Bella is away, but only as far as a throw in for the Oss. who say who know how to make life difficult, don't they? They really do. Um, but we're back on the ball. We're living in the Southampton half. It's our half. We own this half. We own this whole ground, right? Rob Holding, you are so high up this pitch. I'm worried about that. Gabriel, last man, uses Zinchenko, looks inside for Gabriel Jesus, who drops just short. Little scoop turn, the flip-flap to get away from his man. He finds Martinelli on the wing. Zinchenko, taking a couple of touches, has to go backwards, but does turn and face and goes down the line, back in towards Martinelli, dinks one in towards Gabriel Jesus. Arsenal look like they are making something happen here. A Cruyff turn from Jesus in the box to get away from his man, but he's too strong. And he is dispossessed. We go again, though. Down the left-hand side with Zinchenko. Oh! Ref! What? Throw him. Throw him to Arsenal. 24th minute. Hugh, I've worked it out. The only way Arsenal will reduce the ticket waiting list is giving your fans heart attacks. Oh, mate, I tell you what. I tell thee. I tell thee. Mate, if your heart is not racing, if you are not feeling like you're experiencing a fucking Alton Towers premiere, yeah? Then mo- Ah! Jesus squares it for... Oh, nobody there. Nobody encroaching on the fucking area. And Jesus cut back. He's offside anyway. 25th minute. The chat's going to be on fraud watch. This is why you can't take wins for granted in the Prem. SK, you might have a point, mate. You might have a point. The waiting list is like eight years long. So good luck to anyone who's trying to get a season ticket. If you're not on the list already. We are fully live and pre-recorded, doing up Alton Tower settings. Um, Xhaka is the presence at this point that keeps it together. Let me know your thoughts on that one. He's a big miss, especially with how he's been this season. But Fabio Vieira has been okay today, so far. We're going to need more, though. Oh, spun. Actually spun. Odegaard getting turned and twisted by Lavia in the middle of the park. He does look a special talent, this Lavia kid. Um... They've actually got another kid who I quite like the look of. I remember his name is. Oh. Wait. Wait. No, we'll have to get back to that. We've got a crossing towards the far post. Danger for Arsenal here. And Ramsdale saves and saves again. That's what I'm talking about, son. That's what I'm talking about. Two close range saves. Made by Aaron Ramsdale, their reflex saves. Arsenal in all sorts of problems. I mean, it's a header down into the ground. He's done very well to save it, but El Yanusi will feel like he should have done better there. 
It's a corner for Southampton. Danger again, 26 minute. We are stressed AF, stressed AFC. Arteta said let him have two goals so we don't stay complacent. Play complacent, 4D chess. I mean... <sighs> Why isn't Jorginho playing? Why isn't Jorginho playing? I mean, I'm not Mikel. I don't make the team, but... Let's just have a look here. We've got a cross in from Southampton, punched away by Ramsdale, cleared by Jesus. Arteta said let them have two goals so we don't take complacent. 4D chess, smiley face. But it is Southampton who are making waves again with Theo Walcott squaring one into the middle of the box. He's been a danger. It's crossed in towards the far post this time. Another Southampton head is on the end of it. Please, no foul. Bukaya Saka doing what? Raf! Yellow! Yellow for Alcaraz, the goal scorer, who brings down uh, the breaking Bukayo Saka, who looked like he was away there so fast, so strong, battled in our own box to get the ball back, but he's brought down, trying to break in the transition. We have got about 20 minutes, about 18 and a half minutes left in this half. Arsenal 1, Southampton 2. The ref got that shiny, shiny. He's got that smooth, shiny that real super Mr. Fucking Sheen shine. Uh, get Jorginho in. Vieira out, says Sabin. Let me know your thoughts. Everyone who hasn't already, if you could like the video, that would be massively appreciated, but whatever. Saka in towards Ben White down the right-hand side. Right. Ben White tries a Ronaldo chop and loses the ball in the process, uh, conceding a throw-in deep in Southampton territory. He's working hard, Ben White. He looks like he is anyways. I was going to say his phlegm has got that sort of dry look, but you know, I don't think if you don't, if you don't play sports, then you won't understand what I'm talking about. Yeah. Uh, Vieira is just not good enough for Arsenal. Wow, this is unbelievable. Uh, Kane is just laughing, He's just laughing at Arsenal, probably. As Zinchenko on the ball, he who lost first. No, Zinchenko spreads it out wide. Let's just get this done first. Martinelli cuts back onto his right before crossing it in for Odegaard. Oh my God! Heads wide. Well, not wide. He heads about 12 fucking metres over the bar from about eight yards out. Great cross from Martinelli. Odegaard, he's, he's actually wide open. It's a free header. And that is clearly not his strength. Uh, Martin Odegaard. Martin Odegaard. Um, what are Asana doing, mate? Oh, Theo Walker is down. Is he all right? No, nah, he looks like he's in pain. He's hurt his ankle. Are we time wasting in the twenty ninth minute? That can't be. That can't be right. It must be an injury. And it looks like they are ready to make changes. Oh my god, mate! Oh my god. Well, I gotta say, Ruben Sellers, Ruben Sellers, Having the better of the afternoons, you'll be so proud of what his Southampton side have done so far. They are, I mean, oh, we're getting a replay of the goal. 28 seconds in. How, what, sorry, what pass is he trying to make? What pass is he trying to make there? What, who are you? Well, it's clear who you're fucking passing it to, and it's not us. It's not, he's not one of us. He doesn't play for us, mate. Mad. Walcott slipping in. My head is hurting. At this stage, my head is actually hurting. We're, head, we're, we're hurting head dons. So, wait. Second is an achievement to be proud of anyway. I mean... What, I'm looking at Patrick Vieira sat next to uh, the legend that is Thierry Henry icons watching on. And I guess in their heart of hearts, they're a sort of double-edged sword here, isn't there? Because it's a catch-22 for them, if we're honest. They are true Arsenal fans, of course. But are their legacies somehow impacted Much love from Ohio. by Arsenal winning again? Could they be eclipsed by these youngsters? I mean, not at this rate, but 
we've got a long way to go in this game. An hour left, or just 59 minutes left on this clock here. Theo Walcott sending Ben White left, right, with a couple of drops of the shoulder as they look to go long over the top. It's cleared by Gabriel Magalhaes, but a long-range shot, 40-yard shot from Theo Walcott. Theo Walcott testing Aaron Ramsdale from 40 yards there. I mean, the fucking audacity of that. He's just hit that first time. No connection, really, but... <sighs> Please beat these job-stealing frauds. Love, Bumpy. Oh, my God, we've got Portsmouth fans in the building. Come on, Mush! Over the top for Lukaya Saka down this right-hand side as we try to skip past our man here, Pejo. Has been carded already. He's been carded. He's been carded. Ref! Wait. Mate, 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 mate. Alcaraz got the card. Not, not, no. Pero, come on, mate. Sorry. Fourth yellow card of the season for the French left back, who is walking back towards his area now as Arsenal have got themselves a free kick. One brilliantly again by Bukayo Saka. He's proven a real problem out on that right wing. And he is looking confident. He looks like he's ready. I think Arsenal are winning this game, mate. I think we're winning this game. I feel it in my fucking fingers. Let's go. Saka with this free kick. Would be ideal to score an equaliser before half-time, of course. It is going to be taken by Saka. He has got Odegaard waiting on the top of the box, but it's clipped in, into the danger zone. Headed away, but only as far as Fabio Vieira. Sliced. Saka says to... Jesus, leave it. He crosses it in himself. It's fallen to Partey at the top of the box. It's fallen to Gabri Fabio Vieira. Again, trying to curl one in. He just couldn't get it onto his left foot. Honestly, he's just got it trapped at an angle there under his feet twice. The first time, right-footed effort. He's completely sliced it. It's ended up at Bukayo Saka's feet. He crosses it in again. Partey lays it back for Martinelli, who misses it. But Vieira... Needed a touch to bring it onto his left and still couldn't do much with it. Curls it wide. Uh, great, great stuff. 2-1 um, and far from done. 33rd minute, 34th minute really. Ben White taking this throw in from the right hand side. We have got Martin Odegaard coming back to get the ball and almost losing it in the process. I th I mean, pushed down to the ground by Alcaraz, but soft in the challenge, really, there. Partey, lovely drilled pass in towards Odegaard, who thought about switching on to his left there, but is watched brilliantly by Lavia, who is full of energy and does read the game. I mean, how old is this kid? He's 19. He's, mate, he's Belgian. That's what La Conga is. But he's not that, is he, really? He's just not. He's, La Conga's got, I don't know if he's got the right legs. I don't know. Here we go anyway with uh, Alcaraz. Sorry, I keep calling him Alcaraz, it's Perro. There's a ball over the top from Lavia, which is brought down by Partey. Ben White can't control it. Southampton throw. Uh, Sambi is like 22 already. Um, Saeed says, I've seen this before. The throw-in to be taken... Not seen a single highlight from him, mate. Partey, it's not over. It's never over. It's never over, mate. We've got over an hour. Beautiful, Partey. Takes it away from his man. Middle of the park, we are just tinkering, trying to work a space here. Zinchenko takes a couple of touches and pokes it in towards Fabio Vieira. He's on his right foot. Uh, sorry, it's Martinelli. Holding out wide towards Saka. Saka into the box now with Gabriel Jesus. First touch is very heavy. And we'll have to win the ball back. They've done very well to do that very quickly. Jesus and Saka working in tandem. Ball out to Odegaard. Poked away from him. And it's Zinchenko who'll bring that down from the heavens. As Fabio Vieira's first touch is heavy as well. And Carl Walker-Peters makes a strong sliding tackle. Which has cleaned out Fabio Vieira who is now punching the ground in pain and looks to be quite seriously hurt here. He has had his ankle crushed by that challenge. 
completely bent backwards, and I wouldn't be surprised if he goes off. That left foot will have been absolutely... Oh, no, he's up, he's up, he's up, he's okay. I'll tell you what, that looked like it was very painful there. And Martinelli... Oh, mate, Southampton goal kick. <sighs> from the heavens, mate. <sighs> from, the, from the skies. Mate, just, <laughs> just sit back, relax, get yourself a fucking snack. Say goodbye to the league title. Wow. Um, Teta winning will prove Thierry and Nev wrong about managers. Trust me, they don't want Teta to win. Yeah, Dev, I think I've smelt it as well. I think I've smelt it as well. Teta winning will prove Thierry and Nev wrong about managers. Trust me, they don't want Teta to win. I think... Um, it's very difficult to prove that, isn't it? But I just got an inkling. I think they'll both be happy if Arsenal win the league. Don't get me wrong. They are, like I said, they are Arsenal, but I just think it it dents their sort of opinions and also their well, the people that the Daniel Ek decide that they've been backing, it, it sort of dents the Cronkies are so bad for us um, narrative. And it also puts a little dent, not a massive one, but a little dent in the importance of their legacy and them. Now, Bukayo Saka to these kids is going to be as much of a hero as, you know, an Henri is to an older generation. Maybe not on that level, but... It's at least a little way towards making the future part of the history, or at least the present part of the history, because we have been living off the past for a long time. And we've got a man down, Southampton man, I can't tell you who, because I took my eye off the game there, but uh, we've got a little break, 38th minute. Let me know your thoughts on any of that. Maybe I'm well off the mark, but uh, Torsten says Thierry is God. I mean, he is indeed, but... Oh, it's Bednarak again. Yeah, I mean, if I speak. If I speak, I am in, in big trouble. In big trouble. And I don't want to be in big trouble. We are melting away. Oh, my gosh, bro. We are conceding two goals against Southampton at home. How many goals are we going to concede against City then? Kids, put that coffee down. What a name. Why are you... Well, I don't know if I like that name. I don't know how I feel about that, bro. I feel like you're telling me... I feel like you're talking to me. I feel like that's personal. <laughs> I feel like that's personal. <laughs> Uh, the kids are looking to Arsenal to win, Hugh. If we don't, these players will be known as... No, I don't... I mean, look. I mean, I hear you, but I'm not sure I agree fully with that because Saka will still be an inspiration to a lot of kids, man. You can tell he's a clean-hearted you. Do you know what I mean? He is someone that they should be looking up to, aspiring to be like. Although, oh my God, 10 minutes of added time at least. Yes, that's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. Okay, Fortnite kid, you're up, right? You're up. Let's test it. Let's test the waters. I've given you the floor. The floor is yours. Come on, mate. For Fortnite kids, yeah? You're going to leave this fucking Fortnite kid out here crying? Oh, bleep that. Sorry. Bleep that. <laughs> Bednarak. Listen, Bednarak's on the sidelines, right? Teta is the meaner son of our fraudulence father. Bednarak trying to get himself back on the pitch there. 
Oh, that could have been so painful, man. He ba Gabriel Martinelli, I don't think he meant to do it, but he did do the, the Harry Kane trick. That's so dangerous, man. Someone will break their neck one day doing that, I'm telling you. I saw something in the Olympics once, and they didn't show the replay because I think the girl actually broke her neck, but if you fall like that, it can be so fucking dangerous. If today goes sideways, where does next W come from? No, no, no. Let's just relax, okay? Everyone relax, all right? There's a long time to go in this game, Chris. Chris, today has already gone sideways, let's be honest. Let us be honest. Mate, we're running out of time in this half. Four minutes! We're a bit flat. We're a bit flat. We're a bit flat. Ramsdale, bro. We're a bit flat. We don't really look like we're popping about. That's it, Martin. That's it. There we go. Into the corner for Martinelli. Taking on Carl Walker-Peters and winning. Ref, 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 what is this? Yellow, thank you, well done, well done. Nice ref, nice. Come on ref, we're giving all we've got here, you've got to play the game. Carl Walker-Peters, hands all over Martinelli, hugging him, holding him, locking him in with the bear hug, yeah? thinking he's fucking Hacksaw Jim Duggan. These double-barreled frauds. Wow, Bednarak is actually gone over to his manager and he's shouting at his manager. He's definitely shouted in his ear. He's not happy with the fact that he's been taken off. And he has gone straight down to the tunnel. I'm not sure exactly what's happened there, but it has not ended well for Bednarak. Martinelli has got the free kick to take, though. We are deep into Southampton territory. All the men huddling in the box. Zinchenko and Saka outside. And it's oh, crossed in. And it's straight out for a goal kick. Forty-third minutes of this game. Smash that like button like you smash your misses. Mad. <laughs> Mad. A lot of these dons don't have misses, bro. That's how you know the videos aren't getting liked. How many dons are doing up smash a root? What? Play like this versus Newcastle and you get spanked. Newcastle, mate, we've still got to play fucking Bright. Have we got to play Brighton? Oh my god, we've wait. Oh my god. Come on, lads, please, God, you can make this so fucking easy for yourselves. As Theo Walcott skips past Thomas Partey. What kind of world am I living in? How old is Theo Walcott? He's got to be in his thirties now, hasn't he? Walcott, bro, you must be like fucking 34. Mate, that two goals this season. Two goals. And what are we doing? What are we doing? I'm actually getting tired. I'm getting tired. I'm getting tired. I'm getting tired. Forty fifth minute, Gabriel Magalhaes heading it back to Southampton players who will gratefully take pick that up, mate. We're struggling. We're struggling. We're not creating chances. Where are we, lads? Where are we? We can't get the ball back. That's a good tackle. Good tackle. Good tackle. Well played, Jeff. Well I got done. three girlfriends. I'm smashing triple like. Smashing triple like. True ballers FC squadron out here. Yeah, I see you. I see you. Carsten gets it done. Rob Holding with the 40, 40 yard crossfield efforts, which are intercepted, but Arsenal have picked it up with Martinelli encroaching and crossing it into the middle of the box. Is that a handball? Is that a handball? Or is that a corner? It's a corner. We'll take it. 45th minute, last of this half. James Ward Prowse concede in the corner. Seven minutes, injury time. Love to see it. That's what we love. That's what we love. Seven minutes, baby. And we might get a couple more too. We need all the fucking minutes we can get because we're massive frauds who just pass the ball to opponents outside the fucking box in the 30th second. Martinelli crosses. Odegaard! 
shoots, it's blocked, crossed by Fabio Vieira into the far post and headed over the bar by Gabriel Magalhães. Oh, by Rob Holding, even. Chances, though. That's a chance. That's a chance. Come on, lads. Come on, lads. Come on, lads. We still believe. Our passing being poor. Everything seems so flat. Everything is flat. We look like ironing boards. Fucking hell. Where is the intensity? This is for the league. Mate, do you know what I mean? Have they fucking worked it out yet? The, the, the ground's half empty. I'm fucking having a laugh. Where are the people gone? Where have the people gone? The of having Jacker or Vieira is crazy. They've gone to fucking get Prime. They've gone for a bottle of Prime and a fucking slice of pizza at half time before the fucking game's done. Are you seeing how many people have left? Mate, 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 mate. Oh, my God, he's spun Rob Holding and he's been brought down outside the box. But Arsenal have got the ball back as we break. It is Bukayo Saka on the right-hand side. Takes a couple of touches with his left as he caresses it onwards for Gabriel Jesus. The keeper's off his line! Ah! Good save. It's a good save. It's a good save. Oh, my days, bro. PSG are 2-0 up. I don't believe it. Who scored? It's Messi and... Mbappe, of course. Gillian Mbappe. Mate, we could have had Mbappe. We should have signed Mbappe. This is what I mean. Fucking hell, bro. Oh, Gillian Mbappe is not the fucking answer, but Bukayo Saka may well be. He's got the corner here. 48 minutes. Ready to swing it in. Raises his left arm and gently curls it. Ah! Ref! That's gone in! Ref! Check the goal line technology, surely! Not a goal, clearly. Uh, must have been headed off the line, but we've got it again with Martinelli looking to make his way into the box. It's taken away from him by Lavia, who is hoofed clear, and Theo Walcott is free, and Theo Walcott is being chased by Odegaard now, followed by Odegaard, but he's made good headway into the Arsenal area, and he's kept possession somehow. Mate, that's a fucking dangerous challenge from Zinchenko, who may well be in trouble here. Oh, my God, what's that? Yellow card for Zinchenko. Sliding in, slightly reckless. We're panicking. Walcott's got us panicking. Oh, that's a dangerous challenge, man. Studs were up. That was, that was a horror one. Oh. That's okay, though. That's okay. Though. That's okay. Get on with it, you fraud. Stop trying it. He didn't actually connect. It was just studs up. Here's the corner again. Curled in. Clipped on by Ben White and headed off the line by... Who's that? By Alcaraz. Oh, mate. It's so close to going in. Can we get a goal line um, view of it? Partey, Partey. Here's Ben White as Arsenal look to make something happen again. Uh, headed away, but only as far as Gabriel Jesus, who takes it over his man. It falls to the feet of Odegaard. We are going to have to bring that one down, and Zinchenko does. Martinelli on the left-hand side. Winning the league isn't for everyone. Sight, Kshay, sight. Zinchenko into Thomas Partey, top of the box. Thomas Partey has decided to go back. Gabriel will square that to Ben White. Ben White has got Fabio Vieira on this right wing. He's clipped the ball in towards Saka. It's not the best of balls, and it's easily dealt with by Southampton. Just a couple of minutes left and less than even. As Southampton do look to clear it, but well played by Ben White, reading that one straight down the line for the first time 
clips past in towards Odegaard, who lays it off for Gabriel. Gabriel takes it forward about 10 yards and finds Zinchenko. Out to Martinelli on the wing, into Zinchenko, a one-two and another between the two of them as Martinelli gives it away. And Lavia helps Southampton escape and they have found Theo Walcott who stretches his little legs. Theo Walcott taking it 10 yards, 20 yards. Theo Walcott running it into the corner and just maintaining possession by going backwards. Smart play from Walcott there who is looking to be the villain. Wow, he's actually looking to be the fucking villain. Real villain out here. The real fucking turncoat. Here is just an opportunity for Southampton who are in the box though. And Arsenal deal with it just about, but going long isn't an option because they hoof it and it has gone all the way back to our man Bazuna in goal. Southampton looking more likely to go on a run. Um, <laughs> ah! I'm going to start breaking stuff. There are about 15 seconds or less left in this half as far as injury time go. We're in the 52nd minute. Saka is taking his man on down the right wing. He takes it to the byline. He crosses it in towards the far post. It's fallen to Martinelli and it's headed by Jesus and the shot is blocked. Martinelli again was still in the box. Smash the rest. the like button like Theo smashes. Still Arsenal. letting it go. Zinchenko with the cross in towards Ben White. Drilled fucking effort in. And that one is blocked. And this time it's cleared. And now the referee does blow the half-time whistle. Arsenal 1, Southampton 2. Fabio has been so poor. Let me know your thoughts on the game so far. What a game we have experienced here another of the Premier League finals. They thought the big game was Manchester City. They were greatly mistaken. Every single game in this beautiful, glorious, unreal league is a challenge, a challenge, and definitely not a done deal. You cannot underestimate anyone. And what we're seeing now is evidence of that. Evidencia is... Now, even though it's top against bottom in this great league. Bottom. I mean, Arsenal. I'll tell you what we know about this great fucking league and about this great fucking football club is that when top and playing bottom and on Friday Nizzi, yeah, eight o'clock, live and exclusive, and it's live and pre-recorded, yeah, there is no way that Arsenal were fucking starting well. And Aaron Ramsdale has proven that to be the case. Doing the unthinkable after 30 seconds. I don't know how I feel. I'm slightly broken. I don't feel Hugh. Am I too old? Is this really fighting for the Prem? Is this competing? I'm you ticked out of my mouth there, mate. I don't really feel that they've given us everything we need. For you not to turn up and be bang on the money, crisp with every pass, zipping across that beautifully fucking pissed on fucking grass, 85% natural grass, 15% plastic, yeah, is unacceptable. What have we got to do, right? Why are Arsenal so fucking... Do they not realise what's on the line? Do they not realise what's on the line? This is it, lads. The Premier League final is today. It's not City. It's not City. Yeah, the Premier League final is today. And it's every fucking day that we've got a Premier League fixture until the end of the season. Each game needs to be won. That is the requirement. Have we not learnt from Liverpool? Have we not learnt? I swear to God. I will burn in hell fire. Before I allow this club to give us another 45 minutes like that. Before they allow this Premier League title to slip from their buttery little mitts. Art of the Chokey. Heritage. 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 This is fuck! No, everybody relax. We're back. We're back with a new half. 30 seconds in, right, we were 1-0 down and we had to score two goals. 45 minutes later, 
we're one goal down and we need to score two goals. Nothing has changed. You have one half to change our lives. You have one half to save this football club from, and its fans, from some of the most excruciating torment ever suffered by a fan base. I tell you what, mate. I have not mentioned Shetan. Yeah? This all started when Saliba went out. <sighs> no devil talk. Your mum is watching you fraud. <laughs> Oh God! I I'm a little bit numb. I'm a little bit numb. Um, I feel exhausted, bro. I feel like I've done a run. Lacking passion, missing Jacker. Worst off with Fabio. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, that all seems quite a long way away, and we are not as good without him. That much is fucking clear and obvious, plain to see for all. Right? We're not as good without him. We can't stop fucking Theo Walcott and we think we're stopping Erling like Sterling. We're having a laugh. We're actually fucking delusional. May, I may well have been sold a dream. Have I been sold a dream? Are you fucking taking the piss out of me right now? 28 seconds. Oh, no way! I'm rewinding it. I'm rewinding that! Let me just see this. Who are you passing to there? Who are you passing to? Who? I've just clocked, right? Let me tell you what's going on here. Aaron Ramsdale, 20 fucking seven seconds in. Aaron Ramsdale, get ready to learn Chinese, buddy. 20, 27 seconds in, right? He's looking up and he's pressing the triangle. We're doing through balls. Do you not know how this game works? Huh? How is holding stopping Holland? We're doing little through balls into Zinchenko in between two waiting opposing attackers. Like we are fucking prime Andrea Pirlo. We think... That hey, feeling when you've been up for... That is a fucking speak. basic pass as well. You've got five yards to aim at. That's not good enough. It's not good enough. That's a fucking L. Mate, you're str And then, oh, mate. Is it time to call upon Lucifer? Listen, I'm, I'm, I'm 45 minutes left, and I'm fucking happy 45 minutes left. Yeah? Never agreed with letting Martinez go. What? Bournemouth movie. Bournemouth movie? What? No. No, this is the fucking rivals of Bournemouth. Haram Dons in the Dunya, title gone. Aaron Ramsgoat. If we lose this game, I'm gone. We're doing this in front of Omri and Vieira. Imagine your fucking forefathers turn up to watch you and this is the performance you're giving them. 30 fucking seconds in, we're conceding goals like that. Bro, we go again for the second half and we must pull together now. And this must be the most fucking gargantuan effort. The most electrifying start to a sports entertainment game that this fucking league has ever seen. I want to see you fucking flying all cylinders, mate. I want to see gas coming out your fucking little fucking ears, mate. Huh? And if I see Walcott, right? If I see Theo, he did the Cristiano Ronaldo celebration. He did the Cristiano. Get your own fucking celebration, unique. Walcott cannot be, if, if Walcott is allowed to have one more shot on goal, I want the whole fucking team fired. It is definitely time to call upon the devil. 
No, listen, mate. We give fucking we're giving forty five minutes. We're giving forty five minutes. Forty five minutes. Forty five minutes, bro. I tell you what. You think it's a joke? Forty five minutes, right? Walcott hat trick incoming. The fuck is wrong with you? Satan had his chance, bro. Shatan had his chance. You had your chance and you got tough. You should just teach here. Saka to play goalkeeper. Oh my God. You know, they haven't had a free kick. That's all I'll say. I'm worried. I'm so worried. Oh my God. This is the biggest half of our fucking lives. Of the new generation's life, especially really. You know, uh, listen, I, I hate to say it, but if you're under the age of like 30 or fucking 25 or whatever it is, oh, I'm sorry, mate. I'm sorry, but I've seen this. Yeah, I've experienced this. I know what it looks like to be in a title race. I know what it is to win one. Seen it, experienced it, lived that life. Heroes, yeah. I'm opposite the town hall. I'm going back. I'm going back on top of the garden. I'm on the roof. Yeah, parades. Hundreds of thousands of people, yeah? I mean, scenes of glorious emotion as Essex Road and Upper Street are packed to the rafters with a sea of red. I've seen it, mate. I've lived it. And I, I've got to tell you, it was fun. It was fun. I've got the T-shirt and I'm happy that I've lived that moment. I would like a Champions League because I was in tears that night and it's it's all just sort of gone downhill since then really hasn't it so this is it lads this is it right this is it you've sold us this dream we're back in we're fully on board we're fully loaded everyone's got train tickets the bandwagon is overflowing it's like that train in india you know the indian express you've got people just fucking on the roof and just flowing out the windows right we're all clinging on we all want a piece but i tell thee 45 minutes before we're back. I could do WTHOME Martinez as RGK right now. Look at my DP. I grew up with the... Oh, good God. Marwan Shamak gave us a few moments. He was involved in the classics such as Arsenal 7, Reading 4. Four or five? I can't remember. I lost count after a while. It was a ridiculous one, right? But stay focused. Because Marwan Shamak and his now basically bald head are a distant memory. And they are being eclipsed by these young, effervescent, elite star boys yeah? who are ready to bring fucking glory back to North London. Oh, but are they ready? Are they actually ready? Because 28 fucking seconds in, these dons are asleep. They're sleepwalking. It... <sighs> 45 minutes, which may well define the future of this channel. It will define the future of this channel. Because if you think that I'm doing this again next season, you're having a fucking Michael Bublé. I tell you, yeah? This is a fucking breaking news exclusive. <laughs> No way. No way. I'm Why out. Zinchenko is crying I again? I can't. I've been through too much. I've been through too much. And if this is the dream that you... So I'm going to have to go on a little fucking vacation. A vacation. Started watching football in the 0405 season. Oh, Maybe I'm the problem. Oh, my God. Oh, that just hurt hearing it. Fucking hell. Mate. Oh, my God. <laughs> That's what I mean, I worry because people used to laugh at me when I used to... <laughs> There's a reason why I loved Wenger, man. There's a reason. But I do love Arteta. I do. There is something great about this. A lot of great things about him. And the fact that he's given us this season is going to be remembered for a long time. But how will it be remembered? You are about to find out in the next 45 minutes. Make no mistake, the Premier League final is not against Manchester City. It is right now. It is this game right here. Are we... Mate, it's 
started watching football in 04, 05. Mate, oh. <laughs> Yeah, it's funny because that means that you 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 see a different colour when you see the Arsenal badge. That's what that is. You see a different you when someone says Arsenal, your understanding is different to mine. That's what that is. That's what that is. But these guys are fresh. A lot of these guys are fresh. They've got the chance to make their they've had a clean slate. It's a chance for you to make your own imprint. Oh my God, bro. This is what I mean, man. This is what I mean. You are a stepping stone for Arteta, mate. Are we, are, are we imposters? Are we imposters? Have you ever heard of a doppelganger? I saw myself on the street one day, across the road. I couldn't believe it. I did a double take, and I swear to God, it was me. So much so that I crossed the road, and I've walked behind this guy for a minute because I was like, fucking hell, I need to see this guy's face. It's like, I felt like I was like... <laughs> I'd broken the matrix. <laughs> you best come out like a house on fire this half. Are we a fucking doppelganger? Are we not the fucking real deal? Are we walking around masquerading as somebody else, confusing dons when they look at us? Because when I looked at this guy close up, right, I only needed one little look from close up. I saw he had a bent nose and one dodgy eye. You see this elite fucking facial structure? They don't make these. There is but one, okay? Is Pep Guardiola? Is Manchester City? Arsenal makes you want to put glass up your alleyway. Or is it the arse? Are we the new master taking over, having been the apprentice for many a year? Are we about to fucking put the Premier League on blast? We are ready for the second half. Arsenal Football Club going from right to left with 45 minutes to change all of our lives. It's once more unto the breach, dear friends. Yeah? It's the race for this Premier League title. It is our final. Have we got this in the bag? We move from left to right and from right to left now at the back with Zinchenko taking up his position and feeding it out to Gabriel Martinelli who will zip his crisp pass in towards Thomas Partey who is going to curl that one sumptuously round his man and into Ben White with Bukaya Saka now on the right-hand side. And it's walk football from Arsenal as we look to go back with Benjamin White forcing the issue over the top in towards Bukaya Saka and bringing Bella Kotchap into the game. He makes the challenge, but it is played in towards Arsenal again, and it's Rob Holding going on a marauding run down the right-hand side <laughs> and being dispossessed as Arsenal concede possession and the throw-in. Arteta... Will not win us this league, says Offred. Niche Research says, please, for my mental health. Arsenal Football Club have got a good record this season when behind at half-time. Uh, their best player has gone off. It looks like Alcarez is the second change for Southampton, who were forced into bringing off Bednarak early doors. Or at least after... 41 minutes. In the middle of the park now, we've got Thomas Partey. Gets the ball stuck under his feet. Tries to turn and forces Rob Holding to go long. He's looking for Martinelli, who heads down into the path of Fabio Vieira. Not the greatest touch. Just about keeping hold of it. As Zinchenko plays it into Gabriel Jesus. Into the box now. Clipped, deflected effort at a cross. Uh, and Gabriel Jesus is asking for handball. 
He's not really... He's got his arms up in the air. He is asking for handball. He's going to be completely ignored there. I don't know what he's talking about, if I'm honest, but he did blast the ball against a Southampton defender and straight into the arms of the keeper. It is, though. Southampton who have the ball back, excuse me, and they're going long. Looking for the run of Theo Walcott in behind. Aaron Ramsdale comes out to collect, and this time, the simple pass into Thomas Partey is a successful one. Crisp and well met. Zinchenko on the left-hand side squares it to Thomas Partey. Partey will bring it forward and back to Zinchenko. 48th minute. We are in. Arsenal chasing. Trailing 2-1 at home to bottom of the league, Southampton, who will, if this result stays the same, no longer be bottom of the league. Unbelievable scenes, really, at the bottom of the table, just as much as there is at the top. We have got a race for survival like no other before, with six points separating seven teams. Saka plays that one in, in towards Ben Wright on the right-hand side. Cross is poor and easily cleared by Southampton, who do hoof, though, and Arsenal will regain possession with Gabriel Magalhaes. First time pass out towards Zinchenko on his left foot. Cuts back inside and squares it to Thomas Partey. Partey is going to clip that one in towards Ben White. They're asking for a handball there. Southampton themselves again ignored those claims by the referee. Saka, a couple of step overs. Cuts it back to Martin Odegaard. Shoots, no, cross in from his left foot. <sighs> it looked like a perfect opportunity to shoot there. No real power in with the cross, and it is easily cleared. Arsenal will clean up the clearance as Southampton try and break in the transition. It falls to the feet of Aaron Ramsdale just outside the box, and Arsenal go again. Gabriel Magalhaes, left-footed. Lazy pass, not enough on it. And another lazy pass from Arsenal, who literally give the ball back. Zinchenko passing it square, straight into the path of Lavia. And although they've won the ball back there, you can just see that everything is not all right with the arse right now. Here is Saka, though, who is looking to be the difference. Attacking run, taken down. Odegaard, easily dispossessed. Wake up, lads, what are we doing? Uh, Lavia, in towards Carl Walker-Peters, who's got space to run in behind. Zinchenko completely out of position here. Martinelli covers to help him. Uh, Carl Walker-Peters back in towards James Ward-Prowse now as Southampton take their sweet time about it and look to maintain possession. The two of them just having a couple of one-twos between each other as Carl Walker-Peters clips it in towards Theo Walcott. Too much on it, and that one will go out for a goal kick. 50th minute. <sighs> look at you crumbling, says the Don, who's an Arsenal fan, sat there shitting himself at the prospect of what's going to happen to his very own WhatsApp tonight. Yes, indeed, my son. You are in the fucking mud as well. You absolute fucking fraud. Where are you? You're catching fucking flights when we've got to catch points. You are the biggest fucking fraud in the game. And you may well be on Fraud Watch. Yeah? This Don fucking supporting from overseas, watching on a fucking phone. What are you doing in here? And how many screens have you got up? Yeah? How many... It's not over. It's not over, says fucking Rex. Rex. Rex, mate, do you want to be on Fraud Watch as well? Biggest bottlers in Premier League history. Where are we? Where are you? Let's be having you. 51st minute. Uh, we are 2-1 down to Southampton at home. At home, I repeat. The Emirates. The fortress that is the Emirates where this season... Um, Arsenal Football Club have... Mm, what? How many have we lost, bro? Our home form is unbelievable, man. What are we doing? Where are we? Here we go. Fabio Vieira, ref! Fabio Vieira brought down, approaching the halfway line, and James Ward-Prowse trying to slow the game down. So Lampton already doing game management... Arsenal Football Club chasing this one desperately. Here's Martin Odegaard, right-footed pass, left-footed pass, sorry, out towards the right-hand side for Ben White, who picks it up and goes back to Rob Holdings. Inchenko taking his sweet time, looking around like we've got all day. Clips it over towards Ben White. Lovely pass. Ben White over towards Saka. It's precision right now. Here is Saka. Saka taking the two men that are watching on. Uh, Partey into the box. We've got Martinelli brought down. Ref! Ref! We're not even looking at pens. Why is that not a pen? 
Was that not a foul? I don't know. We couldn't see. We'll get a replay in a second. Odegaard going down to the ground, though. Tumbled down to the ground. Uh, all the calls for the pen ignored. They weren't really that loud, the calls, so maybe it was a challenge. Here is Odegaard, top of the box again. In towards Saka. Defended well by Southampton, though. And I think that's going to be Perrod, who has tried to take it round Ben White, who's done well to recover and plays it in towards Saka. We're in the box. Clipped into Jesus and cleared again by Southampton. This will be picked up on the right-hand side by Benjamin White, though. We go back to Rob Holding. Short, crisp pass from Partey. Back out to Ben White, who gets the cross in towards the far post. There is only Martinelli there. It's fallen to his feet after Carl Walker-Peters tries to head it away. It is now headed away again by Southampton, but picked up inside their half with Gabriel playing it into Partey. Out wide to Martinelli, who brings it... <sighs> tries to play a clip ball into Zinchenko. There's too much on it, and it's a goal kick. It's a goal kick. We've got two goals to get. Two goals to get. 54th minute of this game. Is that a pen, though? Is that a pen? Is that a pen? It's never a pen. Never a pen. Uh, Arsenal fans, are you ready for another decade of top four mediocrity? Well, <sighs> Never a pen. Not a pen. Mate, if Theo Walcott is the one who snatches this fucking title from Arsenal Football Club, we are finished. It's over. 90 more may well be fucking coming back. Your streams are done. That's it. Fraud watch! Fraud watch for everyone. Whole club! Whole club. Whole club on fraud watch. Whole fucking club. Fucking hell. 40 minutes to go. 40 minutes. Sucker. Crossed. Ref, what are we saying there? What are we saying there, ref? That's it, Odegaard. That's what I want to see! Still gets bodied. Still gets bodied. He's putting fucking 200% into that bodied. Clipped over, mate. Gabriel plays it back to Ramsdale. Here is Aaron Ramsdale on the ball. Passes it straight away to Zinchenko. Thank you. We just... Plays it in to Martin Odegaard. On the right-hand side, we've got Saka stretching his legs now. Taking his man on. Perro against Saka. Saka against Perro. Into the far post. Oh, good God! That's it. Come on! 55th minute. Saka with the cross in towards Fabio Vieira. It is clipped away. Mate, that is a fucking moment. Fabio Vieira at the far post. I think it's Lianco who gets it away. Sh corner taken short. Whole club on fraud watch. Odegaard. Good evening, KSC in ha ha. Martinelli squares it. Zinchenko in towards Fabio Vieira. Vieira chips across into the keeper's hands. Well, wow. oh, mate, I would have smashed that. Smashed that. Smashed that. Smashed that, bro. Ref. I would have just smashed that at the keeper. I smashed that across the face. Come on, bro. Arteta is inspiring the crowd by telling them to make more noise. We are fucking fighting for our lives here, and we're going to need everything that we've got here. Energy and everything, including the atmosphere from the dons inside the building. Get Smith Rowe in, says Golger. Trossard! Let's go, Trossard! Fabio Vieira is done. He's had his time. He's had his moment. It may well be just not happening tonight. It's not happening. He's off. Leandro Trossard enters the building. A real fucking experienced Premier League baller. Yeah. True baller. Yeah. Come on, number, no number 19. Replacing a number 19, who is the club record signing, who's currently sitting on a sofa watching whilst playing in Ligue 1, mid-table. Is this the new man? Is he the hero that we've all been waiting for? Leandro has entered the building. Good sub from Arteta. Fabio Vieira not had the best game in my eyes. 55th minute of the game. We've got Trossard on the ball already. Skipping past a man, dropping a shoulder, twisting and turning, and keeping possession. Mate. Yeah? Fabio. Mate, dusted. Uh, it is, however, Southampton who are on the ball. Lavia. Oh, that's brilliant from uh, new man. What's his name? Kaleta Carr to win the ball back there on the left-hand side. 
We have got Perro still on the yellow card, and he is ref, 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 ref. Oh, that's El Yanusi. Sorry, higher up the pitch, it's Ben White who has been fouled. It's a free kick taken quickly by Partey into Gabriel Jesus, who's dropped all the way back into a sort of holding midfield role as he looks to move forward. Now is Zinchenko on the ball. Partey in the middle of the park. We've got the options. Square of him is Ben White. 50p in my pocket. Oh, mate, the Queen's nose. Who knows about the Queen's nose? Is this the moment? I can't remember what rubbing the Queen's nose did, but I think it's lucky. Let's rub it. Yeah, let's rub it. Come on, Martinelli. We'll have a wish, please, mate. Here's Zinchenko. Crossed in. In towards Saka. It's headed away. What did the Queen's nose do? Give us, bro. Did it make us invisible or did it give us a wish? I actually don't know. Uh, Arsenal looks scared. She's able to grant wishes. Wishes! Mate, I need... To, mate. Oh, mate. <laughs> Come on, bro. <laughs> Come on. We'll just keep that in our hand. Here we go. Zinchenko. Over here, we have got a beautiful through ball in towards Trossard. Well played. Good take on. Took it early and needed to because there was a strong challenge. Arsenal get the fucking advantage because that should have been a free kick. Why is it the fucking advantage? Just the advantage. Here's Odegaard, though. Weak. Uh, he is dispossessed, but it's fallen to Saka. And it's fallen to... Oh, God! It fell to Gabriel Jesus, and he just couldn't hope I'd get home. Um, oh, my God. Oh, my God. I think Arsenal will win 3-2. Queen's nose, does this actually work? Or am I going to have to fucking t throw the queen in the bin? The parte, parte, Saints have parte. been sitting back second half, this is it. All in towards Gabriel Jesus looked like it was on. And Arsenal Football Club have conceded possession. Oh, we've regained possession. Pass from Aaron Ramsdale in towards Ben White now as we go again. There are 30 minutes left of this Premier League season, my friends. Okay. Um, Martinelli squares it to Zinchenko. Crossfield ball towards Ben White who heads it down into the path of Thomas Partey who's got two men around him and goes back to holding. Square to Gabriel Magalhaes, left-footed. He drills it out towards Martinelli. Martinelli will have to go back to him, though. Almost hugging the touchline. Gabriel has got Zinchenko in space. And Arsenal just look a little bit flat right now. Not a lot of movement. Not real intensity being shown. But we have, have hit the final third now. Here is Bukayo Saka on this right-hand side. With White in support. Zinchenko. Looks to drill one in to Jesus. The first touch to get away from his man is not tidy and gave the defender the opportunity to stab that one away. Kaleta Carr and Southampton live to fight another day or another moment because here is Gabriel Jesus looking to play in Trossard. That touch is heavy, it's ugly, and it's gone out for a goal kick. Saints have been sitting back second half. This is it. Come on, Arsenal, mate. Come on, Arsenal, mate. Come on, Arsenal! Yeah? Please. Oh, you're all fucking back from getting your bottles of Prime now, yeah? All right, I see you. Mate, the chicken wings. The chicken wings at the arse. Club level. They're looking spicy. £14 for six chicken wings, though. Fourteen pounds. I make that about two pound twenty-five or so <laughs> per wing. Um, pricey, pricey. Cost of living crisis doesn't apply to club level, though, does it? If you're in club level, you can afford a wing or two. Uh, we've got a player on the wing here in Gabriel Martinelli, and he's taking his man on. He's beating his man to the byline. He's crossed it in to Saka. Who's hit the post? And it's gone out already. It's a goal kick. It went out already. I don't know why they let it play on like that. 
This is going to be a nail biter. Like it's not a nail biter already. We're in the fucking 60, 60 second minute and he thinks it's not a nail biter. Arsenal need two goals to stay in the game and Martinelli's fucking dragging it out for a goal kick. Oh my good God. Oh my good God. Robbie? Oh, mate. Oh, I guess, is it going to be the return of AFTV in chill? Is that what's going on? Are we fucking serious? Have we not, are we not done with this? Are we finished? Are we finished next season? Is this going to be the same? I've heard people say Arsenal will be in the title race next season. Like that gives me any fucking... Don't worry, mate. Don't worry, mate. You can have a PlayStation next year. Yeah, you can have a book this year. All right. Arsenal will fall off next season. We can't go through this again. It's now or never, bro. I'm fucking telling you, man. I'm telling you, bro. I'm telling you, I'm fucking tired, bro. I swear to God, you've got 28 minutes to keep me on board, or I'm starting to flip my legs. Mate, we're doing up injuries. Oh, Lavia's injured. We'd, okay, well, we've got some uh, injury time. Stats, what are the stats saying? Mate, I need some fucking... Someone, mate, fuck off. We are our own worst enemies. Gifting goals. What are we doing? What are we waiting for? What is going on? This is a joke. Where are we? Oh. I might take up fucking snooker properly. I like snooker. It doesn't it doesn't make me feel like this? This is not good. Not good. The palpitations are on all time high. I told you. And RG finished you lot, told your lad, get one and win the PL, all love though mate. Mate, what are we doing? What are we doing? What are we doing? Come on! Look Wizzy's mum is look proper Chels. Look at us, look at us, look at us, we're fucking around again, we're fucking around again. We've conceded a corner, 66th minute, we've conceded a corner. We're fucking shambles. We're a mess. We are a fucking mess, mate. Mate, is it fucking... What are we doing? What? It's a corner. James Ward-Prowse is going to take this corner for Southampton to give them an opportunity to go two goals clear in this game. They've brought all the big men forward. Numbers in the box. They've headed into the back of the net! And that could be the end of Arsenal's Premier League title run as Coletta Carr has headed home to make it... Fucking hell, I literally fucking said it was going to happen. Ah! I'm done. I'm, I'm out. I'm out. It's over. It's over. It's over. We fucked it. We've bottled it. 3-1. Southampton fucking football club. Bottom of the Premier League have taken this Arsenal side. They have bent them over. They've opened them up and they have just slid in. No loop. 3-1 down. I don't know what we are actually doing. Well, I do. I do know what we're doing. We're fucking conceding goals. We're conceding goals. We're watching the ball. We're ball watching. You're getting fucking beaten to your man. You're not even fucking marking a man. What are you doing, you dozy fucking toss pots? 
Fuck! We are ball watching on the back post. I swear to God, we're fucked. Ward Prowse, do you remember its simulation? Oh, well, well, that's well, well, well. Oh, well, fucking well. Well done. Well done. Lovely. Just what we love. Just what we love, isn't it? This is us. This is who the fuck we are. Who the fuck do you think you are? You thought you were that guy, didn't you? you thought you were that fucking squalet. You thought you were that fucking thing. Look at you. Why are you fucking celebrating your fucking bottom of the league? They're not even bottom of the league anymore. That's why they're celebrating. Well done. Well done. Lord, well done, give awesome. me direction. Thank you. Thank you for that. Thanks for that. Thank you. Thanks for that, bro. Appreciate that. Love that. Love that. What a life. What a game. What a game. Arsenal Football Club. Back on the ball, giving us hope and dreams. Selling that fucking hope on the corner. That Spack Nation in their prime. Oh, fuck off. You're not going to score. Stop fucking clutching your head. You're getting annoying. You're getting fucking annoying. All these fucking silky skills. I need goals! Oh my god, he's missed a sitter from fucking five yards. How are you how are you shanking that over? How are you shanking that over? How is that going over? How? You're fucking six yards out. How have we not hit the target? We're fucking finished. Listen. Stop fucking screwing up your face. Stop fucking frowning, yeah? You're getting fucking big lines on your head. Listen, mate, I've had enough. I've had enough. I've had enough. Ten years of this shit and I'm out. I'm out. It's been a fucking fun ride. Do you think I'm fucking even tuning in for next week? Why am I bothering to see us get battered by these fucking pricks? 7-0. How many goals is fucking Haaland going to score? I'm waking up in fucking cold sweat seeing Haaland against Holding. It's not ending well. It's looking like a fucking one horse race at this stage because they know what they're doing. This is fucking prime time, Arsenal. This is when you're supposed to be down to fucking work. Grind in. 28 seconds in. 28 seconds. It's like fucking so solid. We, oh my God. Fucked it. We fucked it. Thank you, bro. Thank you, bro. Shall I slide into WhatsApp and just have a look? Oh, mate, here we go. Here we go. Oh, mate, here we go. What have we got here? We've got fucking WhatsApps galore, mad. Hey, bro, hope you're well. I'm just sitting down to watch the Arsenal Southampton game. I'm just going to sit down. Uh, I'm a few minutes behind. I'm a minute behind. So I'm just going to log in now. Uh, anyway, all the best for today. Let's see. Let's see, how, see how it goes. Oh, that was quick. To be fair, to be fair, Theo Walcott didn't celebrate and I respect it. He didn't celebrate. Walcott's a, he's a real brother. <laughs> I swear to God. Well done, bro. Well done. Well done. You know, you were patient. You really waited your moment, didn't you? You bided your time, didn't you? You really waited patiently and bided your time for that one, didn't you? Hmm. Ladies and gentlemen, we got them. The R's never disappoint. You know, the only reason I haven't broken the fucking green screen behind me is because it cost about 300 quid. I swear to God, I'm going to need a fucking punch bag. We're done! And I want to sign up for boxing. Someone come and fucking fight me. Bottom Let's fight! I need a fuck... KSI, JJ... Listen, mate, ding dong, I'm in the building. Sign me up. What's it called? Misfits. Get me in a fucking orange suit. And I'm ready to fucking roll. Okay, I'm done with football. That's it. I'm signing up I for the boxing life. Get me down the fucking down gym watch. and into the Jesus fucking Christ, ring Steve ASAP. Bruce. I am done with this sport. I'm done with it. I'm fucking done with it. I've had enough. They can't do us like this, bro. They can't. They couldn't even make it to fucking next week. Peace out, Hugh. They couldn't even Loved make it to next week. <laughs> the game's not it's till next week. Bro. Must be someone's controlling mate, this. Mate, mate, mate. You're on fraud watch. Yeah, you were on fucking fraud watch yesterday. 
yesterday or the day before. May you're on fucking fraud watch permanently. Plymouth permanently. Championship permanently. players next season. TBF. Well done though, Arteta using his brain. I like it because he's brought Enketia on, and I'll tell you what, mate. I, is that for Jesus? Is that for Jesus? Is that for Jesus? No, it's for Zinchenko. And Zinchenko, you're playing like fucking crud. What kind of crud is this that I'm seeing? Oh, I'm sorry to say this, lads, but this is fucking falling apart. And unless we see one of the most epic, thrilling comebacks in the history of the Premier League, we may well be done out here. We may well be being flogged live and exclusive on the streets of North London. Parade. Oh, I'll be parading your clout about. They may, the banners might be coming back out, bro. Are we fucking having a laugh? Talk about progress and being ahead of schedule. Or talk about fucking bottling the greatest opportunity in our history. Oh, mate, we've fucking done it to ourselves. Oh, we've done it to ourselves. 22 minutes left. You cannot do maths. That is not 22 minutes. That is that's about 18 minutes left. 17. 17 minutes. I'm losing minutes by the seconds. We are going to be front page of every paper. Jesse used to bottle for City. We are... We're, we're, we're fucking hell, mate. Are you serious? They're doing the Poznan. Why are you doing the Poznan? Why are you doing the Poznan? Southampton I'm fans are doing the Poznan. Cable this, is sad. I die. this is sad. This is sad. I mean, I'm happy for them. They've experienced nothing this year, have you? Saliba! Oh! And that's where it all went wrong. I just got a glimpse of Saliba. That's where it all went wrong. We're not good enough without him. Holding's not good enough without him. But that is not an excuse. That is not an excuse. Mate, everyone gets injuries. You think City have had no injuries. You think Liverpool have had no injuries. Mate, you have put my whole fucking fan base on Fraud Watch right now. The whole club is on Fraud Watch. Anyone who at all ever bought in and believed in this, we're about to be fucking given the biggest wake-up call ever, lad. Wow. What am I going to... I might start fucking eating cheese. Or fucking, I might, I might get fat. I actually might get fat because comfort eating will be needed. And in the presence of Thierry Henry and fucking Patrick Vieira, we have given them a shocking display. We've given them the old Arsenal. The old, we've just fucking escaped from this madness Arsenal. That's what they've turned up and paid to see. I can't believe. minutes left and i mean 15 minutes left of the season lads so it's been a good one yeah it's been a good one let's fucking get it lads 15 minutes listen mate i'm fucking having enough of you start running yeah start running Right, listen, Thanks then. for saving this season for us Chelsea fans. Enjoy these last 15. Enjoy this last stream. Enjoy your last glimpse of your fraud father for a hot minute, because I'm off. I'm out. I'm catching out, mate. Fuck LNF is cancelled. Don't want to see Balding or Viria. Come on, Saka. Come on, Saka. Come on, Saka. Come on, my son. Oh, my son. Ref. Come on, sucker. Come on. Corner. It's nothing. You can't, you can't get anything. Desperate. You're desperate. Look at you. Come on. Come on, boy. Parte. Parte. Top of the box. Curls it in towards Eddie and Ketia. It's clipped away from him by Lianco. I mean, I mean, this is a joke. Look at, this. Look at that, look at that. That's like the momentum bar. You see the red, that's Arsenal. And the two little fucking dots, the two little bum bum. I mean, what are we like? We are just fucking comical, aren't we? Expected goals are not as uneven as I thought they would be, though. 15 shots, just three on target. Southampton have had six shots on target. Wow, incredible. We are just a fucking entity unto ourselves, mate. Oh. Well played, well played. Yeah, you take your time. Take your fucking sweet time. We've only got a title to fucking play for. Listen, 
14 minutes left or 13 minutes left. I don't know which. We move. I've seen my team, Independiente, get relegated. Bottle opportunities. I've seen my NT lose three finals in a row. Two on pens and one against Gutsa. And look at us now. Don't quit. Football always gives you a rematch. Odegaard. Trossard. Trossard. Against Carl Walker-Peters. Trossard gets it into the middle. Finds Partey holding. We go again. 23 minutes left to save this season. To leave it in our hands. If we lose this, it's done. It's not in our hands anymore, bro. They could walk it. Here's Jesus. Goes past his man. Jesus! Ah! Handball. Surely got to be a handball. Oh, dear God. We're in the box and someone must shoot. Parte shoots. Blocked. We fucking got to get a handball there, surely. That's got to be a pen, hasn't it? Jesus, you should have gone down, mate. Gabriel. You've been ducking me, fraud father. I can't wait for Wednesday. Sight, sight, sight. Odegaard, out towards Ben White. Crosses it in towards... Uh, Eddie and Ketia. Martinelli picks it up, though. Looks like it's a Saka with the shot. Three. It's blocked. Smiley face. Smiley face. Smiley face. Manga Eater podcast. You've been ducking me. Please, God, please. Two goals. We need fucking two goals for a draw. We need two goals for a draw. Two goals for a draw. <laughs> Do you know what, right? You see you. You see you. And you know who the fuck you are, yeah? You and anyone who represents you, yeah? You've really disappointed me. That's what I'll tell you. I fucking had high hopes for you. But do you know what? You're a massive, massive disappointment. When it really comes to fucking crunch time. You don't even turn up. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Twenty eight seconds. Unacceptable. Oh my god, headed wide. Jesus. Jesus. You've got to hit the target from there, haven't you? Have you not got to hit the target from there? How many chances do we need? Fucking hell, man. 10 minutes left. 10 minutes left on the clock. Exactly 10 minutes left on the clock. As Thomas Partey clips one forward in towards the path of Eddie and Ketia, fresh from his new rap career, um, and unable to get on the ball. It is a Southampton throw. They will take their time about taking it. Oh my god, bro. Are we going to tackle him or what? Thank you. Fucking hell. 50 yard runs down the wing. Gabriel makes a challenge. I'm losing the will here. I'm losing strength. God give me strength, bro. Please. Three goals in 10 minutes. Is that happening? <laughs> Eight and a half minutes left. We're running out of time, seriously. Um, and at this stage, we're moving into a sort of period of time where we actually have to pray that City lose, which 
has to happen, doesn't it? It has to happen. Eventually, it will happen. But will it happen in the next seven games? Um, they have to play Brighton. And I believe that Brighton will beat them. I believe that. I believe that. But I tell you what, I'm going to need a little bit of a rest, you know. I'm going to need to just take a little vacation, vacation, you know. Because this is not looking good. Um, and I, no, I don't want to tell you this, but it looks like we are just confirming the fact that we're not capable of making title runs, bro. Not not serious ones and going all the way anyway. We're not. We're, we're a cup team. We're a cup team. We should be satisfied with being a cup team. Yeah. Small cups. Uh, FA Cup team. Yeah. Rich history. Football er heritage. Heritage. Oh, don't fucking shoot like you're going to score. Hugh and fans have done your job these letdowns too. I've been positive, bro. I fell in love with the club again. I really did. Because I fell out of love with it last season. Sorry, mate. You killed it. You killed the fucking game for me. But do you know what? I'm fucking tired. I'm fucking tired. I am tired. This is fucking the biggest kick in the teeth. I don't mind if you get fucking touched up by City. But to be fucking molested by Southampton after 28 seconds is not good enough. That's not fucking good enough. You're not ready. You're not ready. You're not fucking ready. Yeah? You see you. You're not fucking ready. Get ready. Hurry the fuck up and get ready. We've waited long enough, mate. We've waited long enough. Emery I don't want to hear fucking excuses. Process. You've had hundreds and hundreds of millions of pounds that Wenger would have fucking died for. Yeah? Mate. And all you've fucking given us is hope, 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 hope. And a random fucking like, what? Don't worry. You'll beat City away like Bayern did. Oh, okay. We're back to hopium. That's all we've got, isn't it? We've just got to beat City. We've just got to be. But now we're losing to Southampton. And you think this is in our hands. Oh, no, you don't understand maths. The mathematics is not adding up. Yeah? We've got to fucking beat these Dons. And... Ho Ref! Ref! Reese Nelson is uh, entering the fray. Uh, with six minutes left in this game. Um... Priest of banter. Priest of banter. Mate, fucking check this Don's laptop immediately. Fucking hell. Simply chuff. Saka on the edge of the box. Sa Trossard. Trossard. Saka on the edge of the box. Crossed in. Goal kick. You are still leading by four points. I prayed for this time to cry as now. I'm tired, Robbie. It's not looking good, brav. Gay in. I kept asking when will Arsenal capitulation begin and now I have the answer. This is so much sweet to lol. All good, Artita has four days to give them a hug. You fucking donuts! What's the best shot? You're a donut! Look at you, look at you, look at you, look at you, look at you. Giving the ball away with fucking shit passes from midfield and then giving fucking fouls away. Southampton! Saints! Yeah? The fucking Saints go marching into Emirates and clark their way to three points you, as Aaron Ramsdale is exposed on the frontest of lines yet again. Fucking hell.
The whole fucking game plan down the drain because you're passing scary. it to them after two seconds. What a joke. What a fucking joke. What a joke. Doing that fucking fish and chip adverts. Get the fuck out of the fish and chip shop. Yeah? You've got pens to practice saving. Yes, fucking Sarah's halfway line nice dons. Naeem all over I again. Life is fucking laughing at us. We're being taken a piss out of here on a fucking major scale. I've had enough. I've had enough. I've had enough. I'm out. I'm out. I'm out. I've had enough. I need a break. I need a break. I need a break. Are you seeing this? Are you seeing this? I'm done, bro. I'm fucking done. 128 versions of Judgment Summer. We've had fucking 500 Don million. Oh, the God! Oh, the God! Fucking hell, we've scored a banger from 25 yards. Oh, the God! 3-2. Are we back? Is it back on? Or are they taking the piss out of us again, giving us hope? Because I know you. That's what you do. But that's a very tasty goal. I'll take that. Yeah, I'll take that. Lovely goal. Curling it in from long range. Mate, Odegaard scoring bangers. Are we back? Or is this more fucking false hope? Mate, I'm very close to walking out. I swear to God, I'm going on fucking vacation. I've had enough. 3-2. Three, 3-2. Two, three, two. Fish and chip drama is over. Get your salt and fucking vinegar on that. Yeah. We love a bit of salt and vinegar. Okay. Uh, chips, essential. Favourite meal. Okay. Need the cod though. I like a bit of haddock. And I would love to have fish and chips with Aaron one day. I can show him how to save pens. I've saved two in one game. Yeah. Two in one game. Talk to me. 89th minute. <laughs> Mate. Are they taking the piss out of us though, are they? Are they actually taking the piss out of us? This is what we do, isn't it? This is what football is about, joy and torture. Mate, no. Can we, can we stop the torture? I've had enough torture. It's not really torture. enough joy. It's not enough. There are... I mean, there's a minute left of normal time. There's got to be about 10 minutes of injury time. Arsenal are teetering their way into Southampton's final third. As Reese Nelson, number 24, on the left wing, cuts inside onto his right foot and drills a square foot pass over to, side footed pass over to Odegaard. Odegaard takes his man on and finds Nketia. Oh my God! Oh my God. Oh my God, it's blocked somehow. I tell you what, this guy, this guy, since he's come on, what's his name? Lekana. Oh mate, I can't remember his name. He's been unreal since he's come on. He's blocked a point blank range effort there from Trossard. The first touch from Eddie Nketiah laid it off. Being told all it might season. have been for Gabriel Jesus, actually, but it was surprised? looking like it was going in, mate. And he's oh, he's killed us. He's actually killed us. Here's Trossard on the ball on the left-hand side. Looks up, passes it in towards Jesus. It's Reese Nelson. It's saved. It's scored by Bukaya Saka. We're back in it. And it's fucking back on. It's 3 all. We're back in the game. And the title well may be back in our fucking hands. Yes, let's go. We need one more. We actually need one more, but 3-3. Three, three. Love to your mothers. Take it all back. We're back. 3-3. Three, three. Why the fuck are you leaving it so late? 90th minute. How many injury time minutes? Bukaya Saka. Look at my fucking star, boy. Look at Southampton clapping cheeks. Working. That's what we do. We do not give up. Yeah? Look at the ball in from fucking Trossard. Lays it off. Jesus back to Reese Nelson. The drilled effort is saved. And Bukaya Saka is there to make it our center. Who oh, is say three? Southampton three. It's a fucking West Ham again from fucking a few years ago. This is not what I want to be experiencing, but we are doing it the hardest way of all. Another one. We're back. We're fucking back. Yeah, we're back in it. We're fucking back in it. It's back on. Mate, one more. One more. We've got eight minutes. We've got eight minutes of injury time. We're going again. Yeah. Mate. Mate, refresh the stream. What do you mean, refresh the stream? Why am I refreshing the stream? You refresh the stream, bro. You refresh the stream. I'm out here. We're out here. In the midst. It's fucking Arsenal Football Club. Three all. Odegaard on the ball. He's come alive in the last 20 minutes or so. Trossard has definitely changed the game. He dinks across out towards... Uh, ben White. It's headed on by fucking... Ah, uh, Eddie and Ketia. It's too much on the header. The cushioned header... And Southampton will look to go long. The voice is going. We are struggling. Trossard is alive, though, as is Odegaard in the middle of the park, darting away from one and two and another, dinks it in towards Reese Nelson. First time pass in towards Gabriel. We've got Thomas Partey, plays it out to Nelson again on the left-hand side. 
Couple of ball rolls from Reese Nelson before cutting inside. Squares it to Trossard. Trossard thinking about a shot. Lines it up. Trossard cutting inside onto his left. Trossard off the bar. Off the bar. I don't believe it. Final fight. Final fight. Final fight. Come on. Come on. Come on, lads. Come on, lads. Fucking six minutes left. Trossard off the fucking bar. Mate, off the bar, off the fucking bar. Look at this, look at this. Oh my God, that's going in. Fucking hell. This is football. This is what we live for. This is what we love. This is why we're here. This is what we do. Emotional fucking roller coasters up and down. Three apiece. Trossard hits the bar. Still five minutes left on the clock. Mate, it's fucking fingernail biting time. It's squeaky bum time. It's actually, can we make it happen? Do you believe? Do you still believe? Arteta on the sidelines. Mate, he's saying I'm well behind. He's chatting shit. We're fucking not well behind, bro. We're as live as we can get in England. We're always 30 seconds behind America. <sighs> 93rd minute is almost up. We're just about to go into the 94th. There are four minutes left of injury time. Arteta on the sidelines, pointing and shouting, animated as ever. AirPod Alba is up. He's got some see-through AirPods on. And we are looking at the clock. Arteta pointing at the clock. And telling the officials, we're wasting fucking time. You, they're, they're fixing it. They're fixing it. They're fixing it. They're fixing it. He's had a word. They're going to fix it. Okay, they're fixing it. Are they fixing it? Hopefully, Arsenal have got four less than four minutes left on the clock to make something happen. They surely believe now that they can score one more. But it is Southampton who are going to break free here and they've got new pace on the pitch. They've got a cross in towards the far post and Benjamin White has got his work cut out. He does clear. But only as far as Labia, who does bring down Gabriel Jesus. Is that even Labia? It's a yellow card for whoever that was. I don't think that is Labia, actually. No, it's Diallo. Yeah, Diallo bringing down Jesus. Here we are. We're back on the ball, though. Four minutes left in this game. Four minutes of injury time for Arsenal to bring this fucking title race back. And a lot of people are going to be deleting tweets if Arsenal get this goal. Oh, my fucking word. What a game. Listen, Gabriel Jesus in towards Odegaard. On the right-hand side, we've got three men over with Ben White and Saka. Odegaard is being pressured heavily by Diallo. Tries to drop the shoulder to go past him. He does well. Saka cuts inside, uses his strength and takes a man on, drills it in towards Trossard. Trossard clips it over towards Saka. It's down for Jesus! You must score! You must score! You must score! You have to score! Ah, it's wide! Nelson shoots wide. Corner, has to be a corner. Has to be a corner or a pen or something. That has to be fucking something. How is Jesus not hitting that down? Look at Saka, the beautiful cushioned header. Jesus, bro, I'm sorry, mate. You fucking blast it! Why can footballers not play with their left foot? Not fucking good enough. Not good enough, mate. Not fucking good enough. Corner. Corner to Arsenal. One, three minutes left. There's more than one chance in this, mate. You're going to have to fucking go. We go again. We go again. Yeah? When I lose, I do it. I'm upset. Mate, look at the fucking officials trying to waste time. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. We're running the clock down, are we? Is that all we're doing? Come on, bro. Come on, bro. Make this corner a good one, bro. Make this corner a good one, bro. Swings it in. Crossed in. Falls to the feet of a Southampton player and cleared. Cleared. It's cleared. It's cleared. Um, <clears throat> and it's a foot race between fucking Reese Nelson and his man. 50-50. Reese Nelson wins it. Love that. Love that. Good referee and Trossard breaks. We're over the halfway line. Good work from Nelson. Jesus. Jesus! Get in the fucking box, mate. Get in the box, mate. Thank you. Here's Gabriel as Gabriel Jesus gets into the box. It's Reese Nelson on the right hand side. Big responsibility for this cross. Get that cross in there, mate. There's the cross. It's headed clear and it's fallen to Kyle Walker Peters. But Nelson brought down. Free kick. Ref. Fucking hell. We go again. Two minutes left. Less than two minutes left. One minute 50. Ramsdale basically on the halfway line. Comes to collect. Gives it to Gabriel Magalhaes. Magalhaes looked up and saw the run of Eddie Nketiah, but decided not to pick him out. It's Jesus. Swings it over towards Ben White on the far of the right-hand side. Left-footed sort of cross. It's not great, but it is chested down by Jesus. And now Southampton can clear as they have regained possession and they look to make moves with James Ward-Prowse on the halfway line. Ward-Prowse 
he's going to waste time here because they've they've got themselves a free kick and they've just kicked it out for a throw in. I mean, way to kill the game and the momentum. Um, Southampton clinging on for dear life and pretending that they've got cramp. It looks like uh, we're actually doing cramp. Fucking hell! Title at stake, and we're doing fucking massages oh, in the please, building. Please, God, Mates! don't let us score. Where to God? Please, God, please, God, score now! Please, God, please. We just one more goal, just one more goal, so that Harry Weghorst. Now, one more goal, bro. You have to let us play on. Stop wasting time, bro. Stop wasting time. It's fucking pathetic. It's pathetic. Let it go. Yeah. Long ball from the keeper up towards the striker. Cleared. Ward Prowse with a clipped effort. It's going to be cleared again by Ben White. This time only as far as Caleta Car. It's going to be Trossard, though, who picks up that second ball as Arsenal look to maintain this momentum and pressure. We're marching forward, left, right, and centre. It's Gabriel Magalhaes in towards. Reese Nelson on the left wing. It's Magalhaes. Squares it to Thomas Partey. Partey is going to shoot. Why? Why? 40 fucking five yards out. We had more time there to build. He's gone for long range. He's shot high and wide. He's sliced it into Rosette. And it's going to be a Southampton goal kick, which they will take a lot of time over. And I think that is going to be that. It's Arsenal 3, Southampton 3. There are 98 and a half minutes on the clock officially. Will we get any more for the time that was wasted during the injury time? Can you take this fucking goal kick, please, mate? Jesus Christ. He's a City player as well. This is crazy. They don't even want you, bro. You should be... F Listen. Holding with the header forward. Towards Jesus. Headed away by Southampton. Only as far as Trossard. In towards the pass of Nketiah, but headed away again. It is chested down, though, by Nketiah. We are in the corner... The, oh, mate, it's a throw into to Arsenal. There will literally be seconds left on the clock for them to save, potentially at least, their Premier League title dream. Here is Thomas Partey going backwards to Gabriel. It's Rob Holding. Holding is going to play that one out wide, awkwardly, to Ben White. Ben White goes back in towards Odegaard. Odegaard looking for a pass. Squares it to Thomas Partey. Partey in to Reece Nelson. We're doing one-twos on the edge of the fucking box. We're not crossing it. There's the cross. There it's fallen to a man. And you must score. Ah, it's a pen. That has to be a penalty. Jesus clipped. Please, God, you fucking knobhead. You have to have had a shot. That's got to be a pen. How's that not a pen? Ref, VAR, fucking now. Are we joking? Oh, dear God. Mate, 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 mate. Southampton have regained possession. We need to stop the game to get the fucking VAR looked at because they've broken. Here is Thomas Partey. He's not going to look at the fucking VAR. He's blown the final whistle. And Arsenal Football Club fall to the floor. 11 players on their knees and on their asses as they know the consequences of dropping two more points today, making it six points dropped in the last three games in a crucial title running against the most fucking stamina up, juiced up, technically gifted best fucking manager biggest fucking most successful club in world football in the last god knows how many years we think that we can afford to drop points i tell you what mate arsenal football club you live in the mud you know the mud you are the mud you will swim in mud for days to come years to come decades to come if you think you can draw against fucking southampton bottom of the league southampton and that we are going to get away with it against top of the table champions themselves manchester city they're not actually top they're four points clear are we actually overreacting no we're not we're all on fucking fraud watch you you and me we're all on fraud watch but is that not a pen is that not a pen pull it up rewind that rewind that shit right fucking now if they've robbed us i'm gonna be fucking over the fuck wait 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 i'm gonna go nuts No, he's dived. He probably dived, bro. I think he dived. I think he dived. It's not a pen. It's not a pen. He just, he's just fallen over. He's fallen over. He's been tackled and he's fallen over.
I can't believe it, man. We are fucking so cursed. Arsenal Football Club, bro. Are you fucking serious? Today of all days, Southampton. No, 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 no. 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 It might be done over there. Oh, you can fucking hold your head in your hands, all right? You fucking yellow shirt wearing knobheads! I can't believe the lack of fucking focus 30 seconds into a big game. No, 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 no. We, 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 we're doing, we, we've, oh, we're doing so well. We're doing so well. Not now. Not like this, bro. Not like this. Not like this, bro. So, like, let's have a look at this and just work this out because, um, it's, it's based, wait, what's happening here? Are you we... cannot script this, Hugh. The football wasn't good at home with that crowd. Oh God, what is happening, City, to still it's play? To tell me we're not City even have two games doing, in bro? hand. That's the fucking form table. We are top. Stop doing that. We're five points clear. What a game. How have we drawn that even? Southampton, massive bottle jobs. Well, are you serious? You're calling Southampton massive bottle jobs tonight. Wow, this is crazy. Five points clear. So basically, City can go one point clear if they win their next two games. And their next two games are against Arsenal and Fulham. Then Ram they've got Zayland. huge tests of West to Ham City and now. Leeds. Followed by Chelsea, whose season is over, and Brentford. Um, how are we feeling, lads? How are we feeling about this uh, this catastrophe that's happening in front of us? This tragic comedy that we are being treated to. I mean, this is beautiful, isn't it? Here you go. Here's a carrot. Follow the carrot. Follow the carrot. You can get a carrot. Is it a carrot? Oh, is it a cake? You can have a bit of cake. You can have a large Burger King meal. Come and get it. No, you thought you were getting that. You can starve. Yeah, you men are the it's fucking dons right, on TV right, with the big fucking gout guts. Yeah, doing that fucking famine charity ads. I see you in your Arsenal tops. I cannot believe this has happened to us again. We're doing it again. We're doing it to ourselves, though. We're doing it to ourselves. We are our fucking own worst enemy. We needed cover in January. So who's on fucking fraud watch? Who's on fraud watch? Who is on fucking fraud watch? The title. Is fucking heading up. We are. Do you know what? Any other team, and I think like I wouldn't be. It wouldn't be this, but it's City, City, yeah. I can't believe it, mate. Of course not. Of course not. Arsenal Football Club with their third draw in a row, conceding a total of seven goals in those three games. 2-2, two, 2-2, two, 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 and 3-3. Three, three. I mean, it's incredible that we've been able to get three points out of those games. It really is incredible because you didn't deserve a single fucking point, you absolute donuts. Not a single one. Hitting the bar in the 94th minute like we give a shit. Mate, where have you been? Where have you been, bro? We have become so fucking leaky at the back. <sighs> Saliba is missed. And, you know, I don't want kids to give up, but, you know, probability says that this is fucking difficult now if, if, if not happening at all, right? So we go to, we go to City and we've got, to, we've got to win that game. 100% you have to win that game. It, uh, this is the Prem, so they will drop points. They will drop points. Brighton, Brighton, and Ho I'm a fucking Seagulls fan. 
Take this fucking shirt off me right now and show my fucking blue and white. You think Cucurella's the only one fuck... Oh, no, he's left. He's a massive forward. I'm back in. I can be Cucurella's replacement. I'm fucking tagging. Tag me in. Yeah? Coming. Brighton, the most electrifying football side in Europe. They are playing the best football in the Prem. They are more than capable of getting a point out of... We play Brighton as well. We play Brighton as well with fucking donuts. We have donuts. We've actually just... We've ruined it. We've ruined it. It's hurting my head. It's hurting my head that this is happening. Okay. City will drop points. Uh, also, I want to vote for LNF. Fault. I mean, the game plan changes completely, doesn't it? It changes completely. When we... This is so sad. That was not, Dale's I'm not mate. angry. I'm actually disappointed. I'm fucking fuming as well. I'm not going to lie. You got you. You got to show me more than that in the first fucking five minutes. I want to see you come out guns blazing, elbowing dons, not fucking fucking up little miss. You're fucking miss. You're not connecting with five yard passes. Crisp into the feet. Crisp, crisp. Yeah, bang. Slider. Fu- oh, I cannot believe it. I can't believe it. I can't believe it. That's it. It's all over. Wednesday night is the final. It's the final. I hope you're ready. We've made it very difficult for ourselves, but it is the final when we are involved. The Premier League final, live and exclusive. Yeah. Manchester City against the Arsenal. Mm-hmm. 8 o'clock Wednesday night. City can lose and draw a game and win the league. Can we actually do it? Can we pull off the unthinkable? I mean, they don't need any more sort of motivation from us. We've given you everything we've got. And I get, I guess they've given us everything they've got because maybe this is a stretch too far. Maybe we are expecting too much to be actually maintaining a title challenge with City. But to have had a lead like we've had, it's going to hurt. It's going to really hurt. And for that reason, you're going to start to see fans panicking left, right and centre. It is going to get ugly, I'm sure. As three games in a row... We're dropping two points. Two points per game we're dropping. One injury and you've crumbled. Now, it's never over. It's never officially over until it's mathematically impossible to finish ahead of City. And at this stage, Arsenal Football Club have points in the bag and points win prizes, not games in hand. Yeah, Remember that, okay? Points win prizes, not games in hand. So, as far as I'm concerned, we're fucked. We fucked it. We've actually fucked it. As if they're not going to win their next two games in a row. United T4 and a trophy. Arsenal T4, no trophies. Fucking joke of a club. Do you know who's the real donut? You're a donut! Me, me, for believing you, for believing you. Seven points dropped last three, add two points from Brentford offside goal and we probably lose by 4-6 Peter City. Possible treble winning City, this hurts. Well done, lads. 
Love that, don't we? Love that, don't we? We actually fucking love that, don't we? We love that, don't we? Mate, it's over. Yeah, it's over. Yeah. A dream. What what kind of dreams are we having? We're having fucking nightmares, mate. Um. Oh. We've bottled it. We've uh, bottled it on the biggest fucking stage of them all. Wow. Against Southampton. Huh? Bottom of the league, Southampton. <laughs> Talk to me about Ramsdale now, quick. I need I need a quick update. Ramsdale update is that uh, he's clearly uh, not the distribution king we thought he was. I'm sorry to say this, mate. This season, I'm sorry, alone, he is not saving penalties. He is getting lobbed from the halfway line. He is fucking passing it to opposition players within 28 seconds and conceding. What is going on? That's fucking fraud watch material, mate. <clears throat> Newcastle last year. Watch his game. Watch where he is. Watch where he stands. He does amazing saves wobbly. and people forgive, wobbly. but we're forgetting too much, mate. He's so wobbly, man. In big games, his mentality is all over. You know, he's been talking over the game, like, yeah, yeah. If we you know, win every know, game, just, we win the league. All the games. Yeah, all this shit. He's fucking lost it, mate. Emotionally, he's all over the shop. Guys, the guy's gone. You can see it. You saw it against West Ham and you saw it today as well. You saw it against Newcastle last year when we were going to the top four. I've never rated Ramsdale from the start. Watch that game. Uh, at the end of the day, I think we're relieved. I think deep down we're a little bit relieved because now we can still draw. We got don't a point. have to beat them. Yeah, we've got a point. We've got but, a point. But, uh, Mate, that was uh, it. That was it. If we lost that game, that was it. It's yeah? over. That was it. It's done. We had 5% chance. Of, yeah. So we're basically uh, fucking we're falling off a cliff and hanging on by fingertips. We've got one finger left. Do you know how left. easy this fucking was to win it as well, which is the most disappointing thing? We literally have dropped Believe three Mikhail is games cooking. in a row and we still only need a draw. Do you realise how far ahead we were? I don't think we realised. That's what realize. I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. Just the lead that's going to make this we worse. Pissed, we could have beaten them and literally, literally lost the part for last four or drew, not won one in four in the last games. We could have fucking played our B team. Just take the piss. Like you don't realise how easy it was. No, they showed heart. They did show heart. They did show heart to to come back. But you're asleep. Why are you asleep? What's going on in the beginning, man? What's what's this passing and this like Theo Walcott? Yeah. Theo, Theo fucking Walcott. When that happened. No. Imagine. Imagine. Walcott. Yeah, right well. Walcott. Finishing that title. Wow. This is like, this is the, it's a nightmare, man. <laughs> it's a nightmare. Wenger's son, <laughs> Wenger's kids coming <laughs> back it. to kill off the our cancer, debtor. Cancer's back. Cancer's back. <laughs> vengeance. Fucking up. Cancer. Um, I don't know what to say, man. I'm happy, but I'm not. I'm happy that I'm, this is how far we've now like fallen. But I'm happy that we've got a chance to win it. Before yeah. I was like, yeah, we're going to win it. Like, just puff, puff the chest out. I'm actually just happy we've got a little bit of a chance now. That's how much my expectations have dropped over these three games. Don't have trust in them. We're nothing without Saliba. That's what it is, mate. It's that simple. He's clearly that good. <sighs> you know what it is? We play up from the back with him mainly. Yeah. And, and now we can't without without him. with confidence. Without him, we lost. It's like Emery was ABT again, like to slay to the guard today, but Arteta has built a team of warriors. Not champ material yet, but challengers for sure. Ramsdale and Jacko upgrades next season plaza. Selling Emmy Martinez was a mistake. Four eighty-seven or on eighty-seven, and then we have to score. Had an eleven that would win the league. Two out. We'll have like eight minutes to do it, but we fucked the last eight minutes up. Let's be real. Party shooting. Like, what are you doing, mate? Like, what's that? I can't believe it. I cannot believe West Ham and Southampton. Just, know, just analyze this. I know, this. I know, I know. Analyze this. We've lost, we've lost three games all season. Yeah, West Ham and Southampton. You beat those. Yeah, it's basically a done deal. We've done it. Yeah. That's and we've done what Tottenham done when they were chasing Tottenham. Tottenham done the same thing when they were chasing, hell, thing. Thing they were chasing the title. Yeah, they lost to they drew to Nottingham Forest, lost to Southampton, I think, or someone else. They lost the last didn't win in the last four games. We've done we've melted exactly the same way. No difference. No, I'm broken. And so, I'm a little bit broken, chance. mate. I'm a little bit broken, I can't tell you, mate. Um there is a chance, but you know, we're sort of living on a prayer now. And we've got some really difficult games, mate. We've still got to play Brighton. And, yeah. And they are in form. And we're out form. It's the worst we've been. This is like the old us last year. Like this is literally us last year. 
Man City are hitting like the best ever I've seen them. You know what I mean? So if you just weigh that up, mentality wise as well. Are you, you know, are you, could... are you signing up for another year? Are you ready to go again? Are you, are you, are you back in? No, fully? no, I'm not. I'm done. I, I, what well, I'm done, I'm watching the Champions League games and I'm not bothering with the Prem. Because no, I'm not no going prim. through all this and going through it again. Yeah. Like, I can't be asked. Like, I literally will. I'll be like, right, ring me up, Arteta, and tell me when on the league. Like, don't get me involved in watching your points, uh, watching your games. Don't get me involved. Don't want to know. So I'm not going through this again. I don't know about you. I'm not going through this again. I'm torn, man, because there is half of me which is like, this is what we wanted, man. This is what we wanted. This is what we were crying out for. This was the, We just wanted to be involved. Mm. We are involved now. Uh, not me. I'm done. Like, I want to win it. But if you, it's like, it's like going on a ride, right? So we're going to Alton Towers. You blind. You've gone Alton Towers. Yeah. 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 You're walking in. Yeah. You've got the the pass, right? You've lined up, right? You've lined up. You waited three hours. Mm. You've lined up. So you're excited. You're seeing all the rides around you. You know, you're having a drink. Whatever. You're there. It's broken down, right? Mm. But guess what? You waited. You waited till it's closed. Right for that one ride, mm. you know it'll go home. Right now, next week, go. Oh no, worries, son. Next week, yeah, we'll go Alton Towers. Are you going to get the same feeling? Do you want to go through that? Is there not going to be a doubt in your mind that's like, I can't be asked this now. I've learned from this. I'm not like really. You're not going to be as excited about it. This was the journey. This was the moment. This was the the story. You can't rewrite stories. Even if you win it next year, you the story is not going to feel as good as this. To come from nothing and then do it. Hugh Loki looks like Theo Walcott. Wow, no fucking hell, bro. Not now, not now. Um, I don't know, man. I don't know. I just. Now this was the, this was it. Eighth to fifth to first. That was how. That's the story. Eighth I'm not to fifth. Hugh Loki looks like Theo Walcott. Oh man. No, that's still and progress. Exactly that, that, that is still progress. But I hear you. I'm not really. I'm not really fucking around with that, mate. I'll, I'll tune in for Champions League. I might go. I might actually go. Just fuck it. Let's go around Europe. Do you know what I mean? You wanna come? We, we do big. I'm just want to collect all the little cups. I want to try and get the quadruple without the print. Do you know what I mean? Just collect all of them. In one season. FA Cup, Carabao, Champions League. That's all I'm going for. I want cups. Oh. Get so we're a cup team. Marathon. It's don't official. We're a cup team. Sprints. We're a cup I team. Sprints. I don't. I don't want to be dying over a long period of time just kill me now just put me in yeah just put me in quick yeah knock quick out sprints. football from here on out just knock, knock out, out football, football. That's all I want. 90 it's minutes we're either in or we're gone that's it yeah not this like oh maybe if they drop points here and oh, for 38 fucking yeah, it's weeks killing no, not, it's killing me it's killing me it's killing me i'm not doing this anymore man I'm not doing this eight weeks lovely cups bang get through the group stage See, people don't games. people don't realize bang as well right because i know i've got a lot of young subscribers they don't realize what we've been through to get here you don't understand. Yeah, this is what I mean. I've got, I've, <laughs> you don't I've, get I've got, it. I've got now my girlfriend's brother and like his mates are all younger. They're like from the age of like twenty to like twenty six. Mm. Yeah. So they haven't really like lived through these years. So they're just thinking they're thinking like this is you know, this is just like on the back end of Fabregas when we're in the Champions League and shit. Like they don't realise. Do you know what I mean? It's like this guy needs story. to chill, man. Realize... Second still achievement. Do you think second is still an achievement? I think second still achievement. Uh, I feel like it's a failure. If I'm being honest. But that's now with the new information that we've seen this season, right? Because before the season, if I'd said to you before the season, if you come second, no trophies, are you happy? Yeah. I'm happy, but it's like yeah, we've missed you've got to judge it on real time. You got to judge it on real time, yeah. So like it's you can't you can't just say well we was that good we was that good back then. You're judging it on yes last year's team, yeah. Yeah, you've got to judge it on this year's team, and you saw that early on, maybe in the first five to ten games that they had a chance of doing something this season. You've got to then reevaluate. Uh, it's, it's, that's what it is. It's, it's progress. It's not an achievement. Yes, that's what it is. Yeah. So it's like, uh, it's happy that our team is able to compete, but it's not an achievement. If that makes yeah. sense. And do you know what? Do you know what? Do you know what is worse? It's fucking embarrassing that we're having this conversation. That's where we are. 
We've had a stupid fucking lead at the top of the Prem for God knows how long, and we should be celebrating soon. We should be. They should have been able to close this out. If we don't close this out... I'll take her out. Is it I'll take her out? Or no, I'm not, even, I'm not even bothered about... But I'm not interested in any of that, mate. When that, I told you all that when Wenger left. I'm not in any of that anymore. Don't involve me. Do not involve me in in, yeah. out, shake it all about. It's not going to make any difference, mate. This is more than that. It's bigger than one man. That's for sure. And you can't take away the fact that he's got us involved in the conversation at least. We are in the mix and we look like one of the best teams in the league. So it's not I'm that. worrying though. I, I think next year, uh, Arsenal will not be as obviously great. Right. That's my guess. That? I think that? they'll be in. I think they'll be in the top four. I think they'll be a team to reckon with. I think they will. Even if we get from where twice, we were second, is not an whatever. achievement. We'll be, no one remembers who finished second, second five years from now. History only remembers winners. We've, we've, we've took the piss. Where it's literally like Fulham, like away. It's over in two minutes. I'm actually bored because it's that easy. It was like it's like the old Invincibles or watching Man City over the years or Liverpool is that easy I felt what they felt like and I don't think next year in my opinion it's going to be like that because I think you're going to find the teams that are third and fourth and fifth will close a gap enough to actually take points off us maybe 50-50 oh mate Erling Haaland but I think this yeah City. Are you Arsenal are going, going up against the greatest up, EPL team ever, hands down. I'm not just saying, They'll get I, more points than the Invincibles this season. They are not failures. We're losing that game. That's why it was so important for me for the Liverpool game. I said, if we beat Liverpool, I think we've won it. And that that's why, because I felt like Man City were going to beat us anyway. So with other people, like I know they're saying that we'll beat them or we get a draw. For me, I've always said that we'll lose the City even like three months ago. I said it. Are you given up already then? Uh, no, because I think they will draw to Brighton. And I'm holding oh. on to the hope that we will win the rest of our games. Okay. I'm holding on to a miracle that our mentality changes and we just play how we are throughout the season. Because then I All think right, let me, let, me, let me throw a spanner in the works then, yeah? What if, <laughs> what if, after the way that we're talking today, right, if we pull this off from here, yeah. is this the greatest Prem win of all time? Uh, I feel like it's the most agonising, like the most sort of classic, exciting time. Because Leicester, when they won it, it was obvious they won every game. It just, it just, it just happened. They didn't buckle or nothing, right? When Tottenham tried to do it, they failed. No team has ever done it the way we're doing it, where we're sort of hobbling and we're losing a leg, then we're losing an arm, and we're getting over. And Usain Bolt's catching us, and we're losing fucking. You know, our brain falls out and then we manage to just dip, fall over the line. That's like exciting. That's never been done. Do you feel robbed as well? Because what did you think about Declan Rice, Campbell or not situation against West Ham? Because at that time we were flying. Yeah. I've always said that I don't, uh, I, I've, t I've said I don't blame refs. I think anyone who blames refs in games shows that you're not, up to the level of being one of the best teams in England or Europe. I think they're small mentality. I think at the end of the day, the refs can only do so. I, I'm sending off, then I would sympathise with Amos and when you send you off because the game's gone. But even if the ref gives you a goal or gives the opposition a goal, if you're good enough, you can mm. win. So it's like... What is this brittle spirit me, week, fan BS? We stand and fight with the team. That's what the tribalism of team, fanhood is for. Otherwise, you're just I plastic. Like if you're good enough, like today, the ref was terrible. He just let everyone, I don't know what's going on, let everyone time waste. Even the linesman was doing it. I don't know Happy St. Totteringham's Day. Yeah? Smiley face. Smiley face. Bottle of ref C. Smiley face. Smiley face. Coins. Oh, it's St. Totteringham's Day. Wow, incredible. I don't know what's going on today. The, the ref just didn't put no one. He was just letting everyone time waste, lay on the floor with cramp, blow the whistle. It was like the ref was trying to allow them to time waste. I don't really understand. Yeah, that. yeah, 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 yeah. I don't really get that guy like today. It was a bit weird. It was almost like he was like, okay, you can do what you want. The game, the, the ball was only in play. I reckon it was only in play for about 40 minutes. Mate, I'm like, sorry. I, like I don't want to hear how, how have we not scored more? How have we not scored? How have we not won that game? 
Those chances at the end. Oh, my God. Free headers for Odegaard. Free headers for Jesus. Let's talk about Jesus. A bit of a fraud today, yeah? I'm sorry, mate. Bless. He's a bit of a fraud. He's was, like a fucking... Was today, we shot him. He's like an Alfa Romeo. Yeah. I'm sorry. He looks great, but actually, what you get is not fucking worth it. He's fucking flattering to deceive, what? bro. In front of goal. Is he actually clinical at all? That first time fucking shot over today. You're fucking five yards out, bro. You got to hit the target. The title's on the line. <sighs> I, I don't get Odegaard quality. Martinelli, you look like the only one with a fucking head. He's the only one who don't buckle under pressure. Like, he's the only one with fucking strong mentality. He's running it on his own. Odegaard as well. But everyone else, like, I don't know what's going on, man. Like, I don't know what's happening to Gabriel as well. He buckles under pressure, like, massively. He's all over the shop. Like, I don't, you know, Vieira, who is this guy? This fraud, this little skinny twig. Fabio like, what Vieira, is this guy? mate, not good enough. Why has he got a name not like that? Enough, Get that name. Bro. Change it by a deep hole, mate. Get that name off your, off that fucking back of the shirt. You should be called, like, Fred or, like, something. Do you know what I mean? Not Vieira. Yeah, Fred Fabio the Vieira. fucking villain, yeah? Listen. Fabi, yeah? Yeah. 2 fuck? 2 against Liverpool. 2 0 up. This two, will be worse than Tottenham's bottle two job a few years ago. Well, well. And 3 it 3. Against... It I'm time. sorry, man. That is embarrassing. It's embarrassing. 2 2 2 2. We've three, drawn 2 three. 2, two against the shittest Liverpool side that we've seen for like fucking 10 years. Yeah. West Ham. West Ham, who are fucking struggling to survive in the Prem. And Southampton, who are literally bottom of the Prem. Mate, at this stage, it's looking like you don't actually deserve the league title. Sorry. That's what it's looking like. I'll just say, though, it didn't actually matter if we won or lost today. I'll tell you why. It's all to do with maths. If we drew, right, to... We, we would have had to either draw, draw or win, even if we won today. So we have to do the same thing. Because it's only one point to two points. So it wouldn't have made a difference. Yeah, so what? If they win that? their next... Two are against us and Fulham, so by that time they've probably played the same amount of games, haven't they? Why do you think they've got a draw? No. Wait, hold on a second. So if they drop two points against us, but we drop two points as well, we would be gaining one and on 76 after 33, which means they'd have potentially seven, so 77. So they would be one point ahead. No, we're one point ahead if we draw or win. If we draw, we're one point. No Sali, but no defence. Are you sure about that? I think it will be level, bro. Wait. No, oh, no. They'll point. be ahead, bro. They'll be ahead. If they win. No, no. They've, look, they've got two games in no, hand. No, if they win. If they win, yes. But we can No, draw no. Listen, win. listen. If they've got two games in hand, bro. Mm. So that's... One against Arsenal, yep. and oh, it's the one against Brighton, which they haven't played yet. No. Okay, right. So if they win their game against Fulham, they go to 73. And if they draw against Arsenal, they would still have another game in hand, bro. Because you're no, not... It's, it's not Fulham, man. It's not Fulham. It's us and... and um, Brighton. It's us, the game in hand, and Brighton. So if we draw against us, we're still one point ahead. Yeah, but they'll still have a game in hand. No, but that's including if they win that game in hand. Oh, so you're saying they're going to lose point. to Brighton. Is that what you're saying? No, I'm saying even if they beat Brighton... What fucking yeah. mathematical gymnastics are you doing here, bro? <laughs> I'm saying, like, they're four, we're four points ahead right now and they've got, a, they've got a game in hand. Don't count the other game in hand because it's against us. Yeah? So if they win, let them have that game in hand and win it, right? So that is three points. We're four points ahead. So now they're only one point behind us. If we draw, it's still one point. Yes, but they've still got a game in hand, though, bro. No, that's us. That's the game in hand against Arsenal us. making Gary Neville look like a genius. <laughs> <laughs> bro, listen. A draw yeah. and a win. Wait, just in those, trust me. No, a draw and a win. Draw, listen, a draw, draw and a win in those two games would leave them one point behind. I see what you're saying. I see what you're saying. So we can still do it, just need to draw. So actually, if we won today, we still that's, would have... That's, that's counting as well. If both sides sort of carry on and win the rest of their games, we stay on top, right? Yeah, so what it, basically what it means is in our hands, as long as we draw or beat them. Right, so draw and win against City and win all the rest of your games. Is he right, chat? Is he right? Is he actually right? I think that's right. 
They're saying no, that's wrong. Wait, no, you're wrong. Their games in hand are against West Ham and Brighton, not Arsenal. So basically, you're telling me we have to still. I thought if we lost, we need to win. But you're telling me that he is we absolutely have to win mate, mate. They're they're all telling me you're wrong that we've got to win. Oh, mate! I, I don't just realise that. I don't know how you managed to convince me for a second there that we were back, but I was buying into it. Uh, we have to beat City, is what the chat is saying. So why does it matter if we lost or drew today? Why was people like? Getting no, I was what? Getting, no getting we have to time. win every game, bro. What? I no, think... but if we lost today or drew today, it Stop really doesn't matter. Stop to man who is clueless, please. We, we, could, we still have to win to win the league anyway. Yeah. Just we, don't we, 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 have so... to win the, we have to win the game at City now. That's it. It's over. All right. That's it. There's no more ifs, buts, or maybes. You go to City at the Etihad. Wow. You have to win or so it's that's over. That's all done for us. That draw done fuck all for us, really. That draw didn't actually mean anything. We could have lost and still had them, and we could have still been in front. Yes, that's really right. Make a difference. That's right. Well, so, so I've got all that keen for the two goals for absolutely nothing. You're telling me. Oh, yeah. Well, why are they waiting to the fucking 86 minute to start scoring or to start shooting? Well, well, we're fucking, well, I was jumping up and down like men. Why don't you switch up the TV? Just up How can the game in hand be uh, Listen, Arsenal? I'm going to call you tonight. Yeah, I'm going to call you tonight. I've got to finish this stream. I've got to get some food. All right, no worries. All right. All right. Uh, listen, I can't lock my guy off. It's my old mate. So, um, we've been we've been through the mud, mate. We've been talking for like 15 years, mate. <laughs> it's it's. Arsenal conversations almost exclusively, apart from when relationships get involved. And we've done judgment summers, you know, we've we've given people chances. We've been patient. We haven't got involved in protests until the last minute possible. And we have been loving Does life. Does he know how math works? Premier League. Right? Life has been very different. We've been believing. But more recently... Shades of yesteryear are beginning to creep into our football. And as you can see, three orange marks against the name with three draws in a row with Liverpool, West Ham and Southampton all proving too much for Arsenal. And those points, those six points, just imagine that Arsenal win those three games. Just imagine for a second. Just hypothesise with me. Six more points gives you we genuinely would have been on 81 wow 81 11 points clear yes city would have had their two games in hand but just the fucking difference that that would have made the effort that it would have appeared to be for city might have been in too much for them especially with their eye off the ball in the champions league even though they've been involved in the champions league going deep into this competition yet again they appear to have enough and they appear to be hitting the ground running at the right time. The momentum really is all with them right now. 70 points. Two games in hand, which people are saying against West Ham and Brighton. And that would leave them a point ahead of Arsenal. So at this stage, no wonder Pep to gave change the course and of Jesus, the history that looks like it is face, about to be told, we really do have to face. beat Manchester City. It's all or nothing, and I don't mean a fucking Amazon documentary. Excuse my French. I uh, hope you've all enjoyed the fucking... Wait, stop swearing. The roller coaster of emotions, this ride. You know what the funniest thing is? Now I've got to go and watch the Knicks, and the Knicks look like they're ready to do a fucking Arsenal. Yeah, bottling in the first round of the playoffs. Are we done out here? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Or can we take it to the Etihad in what is the battle for the title? Nothing's really changed, if anything, except they've let us down and made it even more hard for themselves, even more tricky to be able to pull this off. But it isn't over. It's never over until it's over. Love to everyone who's liked the video and subscribed to the channel. If you are new, turn your notifications on so you never miss an upload. I'll be back probably tomorrow, but I will be on Twitch tonight. 
we'll do a late night fraudulence after the rest of the game so that we've got more to talk about because otherwise it's going to be a clean fucking sweep for you lot isn't it you absolute bottle jobs peace lads